This version of Minecraft looks terrible, but every time a new day dawns, Minecraft gets more and more realistic. And by day 100, it's gonna look amazing. And not only will the textures improve, but I'll add realistic mods that are just so, so cool. So this is the world. This is what I'm working with. And I'm, I'm falling in powdered snow. So I think these are trees. I, I'm guessing they're spruce. I don't think Minecraft has ever looked this bad. Can't even see the crafting menu. Okay, I've got planks, got my crafting table and my sticks, and I've got a wooden pickaxe. So now I'm going to attempt to find stone. I think there's some down there. What is this? Is it a mushroom? And a dog! I oh, haven't got a face! At least I've got a face. I think I can safely say this is stone. No, I think it's 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 dirt. Ah, okay. Stone is slightly lighter, right? Yes, I'm mining some up. Then I can make a better pickaxe and all the other tools. This really is hard work. My only goal for this day is to get a bed. If I can sleep the night away, things will get more realistic and I might be able to tell what I'm doing a bit better. Even water looks weird, completely great. I'll get some extra wood. At least I can tell if something is a tree or not. What is that? Is that a bee? It's strange, whatever it is. Anyway, all I'm interested in is sheep. And that looks like a biome where there's grass, so there's more chance of finding one. And I'll get there as long as I can survive this powdered snow. Great, a creeper. Well, it's nice to meet you. Just got some coal from that. Yeah, it's going dark, this is bad news. Surviving this night is gonna be very, very tricky. Aha, sheep, okay. That's one, that's two, and there's another one here. There we go, get out of the way. I didn't even realize I'm in water here. You can't even tell, can you, until you go like that. Well, let's make this bed, then I can get to sleep. And things are looking slightly better today. Yes, everything does look very pixelated and very blurry, but I can at least tell what things are a bit better. And I can begin collecting some food. Food that I can cook in a furnace. And there's more cows over here too. So now that I've got food, things are looking a little healthier, and I'm gonna make sure I keep collecting it. Don't worry, pigs, you're safe today. I'm, I'm only going for beef. I reckon down there is a pretty good cave, a dripstone one to be Exact. Finding iron's probably not gonna be easy. This is either iron or cup. Oh dear. I just realized I don't have that much health. Kind of forget that there's just mobs everywhere, don't you? Thankfully, if I keep dodging and weaving, I. Okay, well, I'm still gonna get hit. There we go. Copper or iron, ladies and gentlemen. I think, yeah, it's copper. And what is this? Okay, some sort of dirt. Is this iron? Nope, there's coal there. <laughs> this is a rubbish cave. I'll be glad when the textures improve a bit, but for now, I'm just gonna grab coal because I know what that is. Is that iron? I think it is, you know. It is. Just a shame that it was only one piece. No, nope. and it was two. And apparently, I'm mining lapis right now. How am I supposed to know this? Definitely worth getting this smelted. Then I've got to try and work out where I put the crafting table. Wait, is that a crafting table? I can it's easy to lose things in this pack. From there, I am making a shield. And theoretically, I should be able to defend myself against mobs much better. Though despite that, I am still getting out of here. Looks like it's night time. There's an enderman over there. I've got to go for it. At least I would do if I could make a boat, but I can't. Oh, wait, I can. I've got 24 spruce logs. Okay, I'm just blind. Although you can't exactly blame me for being blind when the world looks like this. You've got to let me off, guys. Let's get you in there. Fantastic. And I deal with the spider and the two creepers. And hopefully he'll drop me an ender pearl. Did he? I don't think he did. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. I've got one there. Okay, it doesn't look like one, but I've got it. And with that, I think I can happily go to sleep. And things today are looking good. It's, it's just normal Minecraft in black and white. I think so. Oh, no, it's on fire. I feel like I'm playing Minecraft in the 1950s, guys. And whoa, I nearly just jumped in there because and then I realized it's fire, so it's lava. It's not water. Good to know about that, though, for when I want to go to the nether, just in case. And I found a much better cave. Plus, I can see what the ores are much better now. Although, having said that, it's not like we struggled for coal. I think, yeah, pretty, we already got 30, uh, 29 coal. Now we're going to have 30, 31, and 32. But the thing I care about the most is iron. Can we find more iron? And the answer is yes. Yes, we can. So that'll be just what the doctor ordered. It'll allow me to get iron tools, a bucket, you know, all those useful kind of things. And it makes me glad that I mined up so much coal. A little bit more iron here. Might as well make another furnace whilst I'm here because I am nearly... Well, I'm getting low on steak, but we've got loads of raw beef. And this is great. I'm making the iron tools. Fantastic. That is all the steak cooked as well as the iron smelted. And look at it down here. It looks insane. There is iron on the way, although there is also mobs on the way. I should be careful. And probably get rid of them first. Although now that I've got all these tools, I don't even know what I'm going to use the iron for because I'd rather just save them and, and then use diamonds for armor. Don't trust myself to emulge in this, so I'm going to slowly go down and grab whatever I can find down here. Is that a diamond? I th whoa, get, whoa, don't taste from I'm on one heart. I just realized this is very dangerous. Okay, just... Oh, half a heart now. These drips don't have very... You can't drop onto them from any height, so you've got to be so careful. I think that's a diamond, though. Right, have I got enough space to eat? I think so. Without the red heart, it's really hard to tell how much health you're on. But I think I'm now safe to go back for those diamonds. That, well, I think the diamonds, anyway. Let's see... Okay, it is fantastic. All right, creepers, blow up and get them. There you go. And I want to know, is there any more diamonds under here? Yep, another one. They're definitely not easy to find, so I think I've done well to find two. wonder what this was. It's redstone. Okay, I'm, I'm not interested in, in any redstone. Dust. And the colour is back. It must be the next day. Honestly, guys, it looks 
so saturated and so bright after playing in black and white. Man, I've really been taking Minecraft colors for granted all this time. And it really does make finding diamonds much, much easier. Plus, MLGing is a bit more straightforward too. That's another diamond there. And I just walked right over one. So I grabbed that as soon as I... Okay, this is bad now. I'm getting surrounded on all sides. Seriously, this cave is awful. Well, I suppose it does have its good qualities too, though. With eight diamonds, you just gotta make a chest plate, haven't you? It's gotta be done. Also, wouldn't mind dealing with this enderman, who didn't give me an ender pearl. And then I'm gonna attempt to get out of here in one piece. Which is gonna involve staircasing my way out. Mission accomplished. I'm convenient I can sleep to see what gets updated next. And the trees, the trees look so much better. Everything else is normal, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, just normal textures. But then the, the trees just make Minecraft look more realistic in general. It's really weird. So day by day, Minecraft is going to get more and more realistic. And that's through the textures, but also through the behavior as well. So there's mods that change the behavior to make it more realistic too, which should be very, very cool indeed. I also think it's about time that I mine up four. Look at it. Look at the detail on that. But yeah, I should mine up four of these and then I can make myself a smoker just to cook food much, much faster. Now, my next goal, I think, has to be to find a village. Looks like the sun is setting so I can go to sleep. And for day six, if you break a tree, the whole thing breaks because that's, that's way more realistic. Also makes getting wood so, so much easier. And now as I jump in my realistic boat, I can continue the search for a village. There are acacia trees up ahead, so I'm hoping that there's a village in the savannah. Not what I was looking for, but a ruined portal. And what goodies are in the chest? A bit of obsidian and a bit of flint is good enough for me. And a few gold nuggets that can be turned into ingots as well. Another lava lake and another massive cave. But most importantly, up ahead, there's a village. Just in the nick of time too, as it is starting to get dark. And it means I can steal one of their beds because, you know, I, I prefer a yellow one. A bit more interesting. Look at these doors. How cool do they look? Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, <laughs> you build your, your house over a lava lake. What do you expect? Mate, mate, I don't want to panic yet, okay? I mean, how can you sleep through this? Your house is on fire. That is literally the definition of the this is fine meme. Well, I'm just going to walk away and go to sleep. And now my weapons, tools, and armor look way more realistic. And doesn't this building look cool? Oh, you look very, very normal. I suppose I, suppose I can look normal apart from my armor. But the inside, I love the wood. Now, where's that burning house? Is the villager still okay? All right, it's time for a rescue mission. <laughs> he doesn't look happy. He's just shaking his head. You see, good sir, you should have built the floor out of cobblestone. Then you would have been much safer. Allow me to remove all the lava and put out the remaining fire. You know what? I think he can count himself lucky that he's still alive. We have a blacksmith here. And inside the blacksmith... Oh, look at that. Diamonds and iron. That's, a, that's one of the best chests you could get, I feel like. And I'm going to use this to make a diamond pickaxe. And I'd also like to steal the grindstone, hope you don't mind. Now you probably see why I wanted to visit a village. I'm not going to do anything else here now, but I will remember where it is so I can trade with them. The next thing I want to do is try and get a few more diamonds, which means trying to find a half decent cave, something I was unsuccessful at. Don't you worry though, I'll block up the water, grab this iron and begin digging down. Looks like I've dug into a mine shaft and I reckon mine shafts are always good places to find diamonds, especially ones that are this low down. Underneath is just another massive water cave with a diamond. Let's grab it. And even better, it's two. I don't have the space for these. Quick, we don't want to lose that. Although I also don't want to drown. Let's, let's just do to get some blocking. Is there any more here? Indeed there is. And so the search can continue. The very successful search. This is diamond number seven and there's more. Fantastic. In fact, there's loads. It's like a, it's like a vein of nine. It's crazy. Or even more. Is it two veins to get? How many did I get there? Did I just get 11 diamond? No, I got 12. Never have I ever found that many in a single place. Okay, I can make the full diamond hammer already. I look pretty cool, don't I? I don't know what's going on in my eyes, but... <laughs> what is this helmet? Let's not question it, all right? It's just more realistic. And speaking of more realistic, am I able to sleep and update things even more? I can. And now the entire cave looks so much more realistic. I mean, look at the point of dripstone. It looks really cool. And look at that. And look at the... Oh, the deep slate's fantastic. I love it. Plus, I've got a mines cart get... Oh. This. Can't stop finding diamonds at the moment. Apparently, Tuff sadly didn't get the treatment, but everything else did. Also, ores didn't either. Okay, interesting. Looks like mobs, yeah, are still not realistic. Let's get that. Did I just... What did I even... I don't know what happened there. I think I landed on dripstone, but still MLG'd it. It's weird, that. One thing I do know, though, is I'm a bit injured from it. Thankfully, I have fantastic diamond armor. Also need to be collecting gold when I see it, if I have space for it, since it will be quite useful when I eventually go to the nether. The cave looks so weird when it has the ores not being realistic, but everything else is. Quite looking forward to when all of the other stuff is also spruced up. Is this a spawner up ahead? Okay, I, I don't like you guys one bit. Come on, we can, we can not get hit by him. I can do this. Oh, it's two. Okay, well, we got poison. There we go. Might as well embrace it. Although, I've got to be careful now. Half a heart. Um, yeah, maybe take these guys on was not the best idea. <laughs> I think mine shafts are one of the worst places, right? We got rid of him. Come on, just get rid of the spawner. If anyone can do it, it's you, SB737. And mission accomplished. That now unlocks new areas and allows me to explore more. Aha, diamond. Not far off having every single one that I need at this point, I think. But since there's more to explore, 
I'll search that little bit extra. And it's also always cool to find nice little lava lakes like this. They're nice and light, no mobs can spawn, and you just never know what you might find. Also, my biggest goal is just to get a netherite helmet because it has to look better than what I've got on right now. That's another day done. And this has been a pretty good day. It's updated the ores. Okay, things are looking much nicer. It makes me, what on earth? Well, the ores look better until you do that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why is it like that? Oh, they look cool. Very strange. I better break it. Yeah, you've, once you start breaking it, you've got to fully commit. Is it the same for, like, gold and stuff? No, gold's fine. But redstone... Oh, the actual things themselves are up there. Oh, the ingots as well. Look at that. And the diamonds. Oh, nice. But redstone... Redstone's just really weird. <laughs> That's a strange one. That's a very... Oh, we've got... Are they, are they diamonds? Is that what a diamond all looks like? Let's see. It is! Oh, it's very satisfying to mine when it's like that. Makes me want to just find more diamonds. I want to find all the ores now. Look at that. Fantastic. What the heck? How is there a chicken down here? Okay, well, nice. Whoa! My... No! Oh, this is sad. This is very, very sad. Better take my helmet off for this. One like equals one RIP for the chicken. I think I've seen everything that there is to see in this cave, so I'm just going to dig my way out. And if I find another cave on my way out, I... well, as I was about to say, I'll continue exploring. Looks like I got my answer. And what is this? Is this iron? No way. Oh, that looks so cool. It's completely different from vanilla Minecraft, and in my opinion, it looks way better. I've also already been here. It just connects to the mineshaft I was in before. So I shall continue my escape from this place. Copper looks quite nice as well. I mean, I don't actually want the copper, but the actual look of it. Oh, why is that? Why is the actual ore not the, like the other ones? But anyway, cool, cool stuff. Feels so weird having realistic stone, but then the dirt is not. <laughs> Very much out of place. Okay, we've made a successful escape anyway. And it's dark, so I'll find a safe spot away from that creeper to get some sleep. And just as I was complaining about the dirt and the grass, it now looks way, way better. Look at that. It fits in nicely with the stone. The trees look real. I love it. I think this is this is great. And since I have so many diamonds, you know what? These are both going. And I'm crafting some nice brand new ones. Can't say no to extra beef. I wonder when the mobs will become realistic because these, th th they're nowhere near at the moment, are they? And there's a village. Now, is that the same? Yes, it is. It's got the same burnt down house. I was just curious. So I reckon it's in my best interest to go searching for sugarcane, which still looks terrible, by the way. And then I can make paper, turn them into books, a bookcase, and a lectern. Now, does lecterns... Okay, they look very normal. And put simply, the plan with that is to try and get prop four. And the villagers stuck in this house is the one that's going to do it. You think you can get to that job site block, do you? Well, you're an idiot. Now you can never leave. I'll tell you what, this is a cool place, by the way. Cool house. Well, what are you trying to do? Where are you going? You're going nowhere. No, instead, we're going to get you in here. We're going to get the lectern down. And you are, are going to get... Oh, the emeralds look amazing. Speaking of emeralds, I don't actually have any, so I should <laughs> I should probably work on that. How am I going to work on that, you may be wondering? Well, quite simply, I'll make an iron hoe. Mine up all these hay bales that someone just left lying around. And eventually sell them to a villager when they actually come to the job site block. Maybe it's too late in the day. Whilst that way, I'll just continue stealing their hay bales. And apparently the redstone ore isn't the only textures that's broken in this video. Ah, well, the checkerboard pattern looks kind of cool, if you ask me. And the grass path, look at it. You can tell it's like not a proper square. I, I like that a lot. Absolutely ingenious. And I wonder what will update when I go to sleep this time. Torches! Torches are on fire! Well, why is that not burning? Okay, well, that's that's interesting. But, oh, wow, they look nice to these to Yes! I'm impressed. It's also good that there's a fletching table there. I could use that to sell sticks. My farmer's back. But is he buying wheat? He finally is. Let's go and turn... Okay, I didn't have enough space. Don't you dare! No, no, no! Oh, he just stole loads of wheat. <laughs> ah, well. Yeah, you win some, you lose some again. Let's just uh, keep giving it to him. Definitely wasn't part of the plan, that, but I, I can't exactly do anything about it. Maybe setting up a chest so I have a little bit more inventory space would be a good idea. There you go, villager. More wheat for you and more emeralds for me. And you know what? You can have these. You, you want them? They're all yours. And the thing I need right now is more sugarcane. Since I am going to need one more book. And I also reckon I'm going to need more emeralds. Thankfully, yes, it was realistic Minecraft. So trees, if you break the bottom, the whole thing collapses. We could get a lot of wood very, very fast. Don't know why I'm sticking to birch wood. I guess Camman18 would be proud that I am ridding the world of birch trees. But to be quite honest, there's way more oak, so I, I, I should probably start going for that. Today is a great day for you, sir. And hopefully it'll be a good day for you pretty soon as well. It, well, oh my goodness, I literally just got that so fast. 52 emeralds, though. Are you kidding me? There's no way I get that again so fast, though. I've, I've just got to bite the bullet. So we desperately need to not lose that trade. I don't need very many emeralds. I can get the wood really fast. And I'm definitely mining every oak tree. I've, I've got to. Right, where does the Fletcher sleep? Is it, are you the Fletcher? Nope. The farmer's in here. Another farmer there. Where is he? Just remembered. I trapped him in so he couldn't escape. Yeah, now, now it's all coming back to me. No wonder I couldn't find you anywhere. Right, I just need three emeralds, mate. All right, not, nothing too crazy. One, two, three. Then I can lock in this trade and go to sleep without worrying. And oh my goodness, you guys do not look the same. What? 
This looks so cursed. What? Oh my god. What is that face? Whose face is that? What? Oh, you've got different. This is. Oh my goodness. This is. <laughs> did not expect that. You've just got such a baby face. Yeah. All right. Well. Um, that was an interesting, uh, an interesting upgrade for today. And the cows look, um, cows look kind of crazy. Although it's very cool that there are different coloured cows, like different variants. The sheep, they have real wool. Look at it. <laughs> oh, the faces as well. And they've got different types of faces. Okay, well, very good. Anyway, can't get sidetracked. I have got to get 156 emeralds. And whilst that is 10 stacks of wood, something that sounds very, very difficult, I don't think it'll take me that long with this trusty axe. Progress isn't too bad so far, over seven stacks, but it is getting dark, so I'm gonna quickly do some trading, and then after this I'll be able to sleep, and it'll mean he'll restock his trades a little faster. I still can't get over how weird you look, by the way. So, <laughs> whoever's the real faces, I feel bad, but you know, it, it just doesn't look right on a villager. The squid, on the other hand, that looks kind of amazing, doesn't it? And on this day, flowers have had a makeover, now they're real, you know, have you ever seen a real, more real looking flower than that? It, everything looks weird when I zoom in. The torch, however, Look, I always look amazing. That's more emeralds for you and more deforestation for me. Oh, I never thought of this. The massive jungle trees. I wonder what will happen if I break one of them. Does the whole thing come tumbling down? Oh, it does. That's got to be the fastest way to get the wood. <laughs> I could just do it instantly. Look at that. I can't even fit it all in the inventory. Don't know why I didn't do this sooner. The only sad thing is it still uses the full durability of what would take to mine the whole tree. So I'm not going to break this one. I think I've probably got all the wood I need. And I'd like to save this axe. Oh my God, I just feel like I can't be taken seriously. As I was saying, I like to save my axe where possible. So let's, let's get back and do some trading. All right, may you take these. And in my opinion, one Fletcher is just not enough. No, I'm crafting a second Fletching table. And this guy here, you, yes, wait. So uh, have I already traded with you? Never mind, not you. How about the guy whose life I saved? <laughs> you didn't look like that last time. Yeah, you could be uh, you could be my other Fletcher, which means your brewing stand's getting broken. And stolen. I, th I think I could always use that. Right, I'm going to get some sleep. And this has made the skies fancier. By the skies fancier, it's made the sun look different. Is, is that all? Fixed it, had to add an extra mod, and now it looks way, way, but now the skies do look fancy. And I can continue trading for all the emeralds that I need. The prices have gone a bit extortionate, but I now have every single emerald that I need, which means I just need to find more sugarcane so that I can get more books. Also, things like crafting tables and furnaces now look way more realistic. And if I can find one, hostile mobs also have the new treatment as well. As we said, the sugarcane looks well better now. And all of these should do for what I need. Wouldn't mind a little extra leather. It's sometimes hard to tell what a cow is, but I guess they're all just a few different variants. Oh my goodness, the smoker looks amazing. It's got an open door on it. That is so cool. And then the blast furnace just looks really, really out of place. Oh, wow. It actually goes on fire inside. I love it. Very, very impressive. Now, let me buy three of these. Then I'll craft an anvil, which also has a very nice realistic fit. Well, apart from whatever that is. And all my armor is going to get the treatment. I'm looking very, very shiny. But I'd really now like to get to the nether because I'm just not happy with this helmet. I want to see if a netherite helmet looks better. So that is my priority. Also, look how the night sky looks. It looks very cool as the sun sets. It's amazing. I mean, the sky should just be like this all the time, I think. Yeah, look at it. Very cool. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm going to sleep through them anyway. So I won't use this lava lake to make a portal because that, that poor village has been through enough drama as it is. But there's another one here, which will be perfect. The lava looks very bad at the moment. It feels weird to see normal things that aren't realistic now. And it'll be interesting to see exactly how the nether looks because I don't think I've updated the blocks. I also don't think I have any way to light the portal. So finding gravel is a necessity and then mining it. There we go. We've got the flint. Now to light it up and through I go. Oh my goodness. Straight into a fortress. Okay. Very, well, I said I don't ever want to be in a fortress. Or not. It's got to be helpful. And right now the nether just looks normal. There's nothing interesting here at all. But I didn't come to find stuff that was interesting. I came to find ancient debris. And so find ancient debris is what I'll do. I, I feel like this pickaxe is going to need to be upgraded to have any chance here. Interesting. Blackstone appears to be... Is this blackstone? Oh, it's bedrock. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is blackstone, is it? And then when I realized I couldn't mine it, what my mistake had been. <laughs> Makes sense that bedrock would be realistic here. And realistically, it's going to take me about 70,000 years to mine like this, isn't it? I've, I've got to come up with a better plan. And here's what that better plan is going to be. First of all, I want efficiency on my pickaxe. So to get that, I can mine up a little bit of obsidian, craft an extra book, and then... I can make one of these. Looks good. Also, if you're wondering, Day 17 made lime and green colours more realistic, but I don't have any lime wool or anything green to, to show you, really. I'd need cactus for that. Not going to worry about it. Instead, I'm going to get some sleep. And Day 18 has changed this. Look at it. Oh, my goodness. Look at the depth. I love the depth. Like, it's 3D. I think it looks really cool. Like, wow. Fantastic. My only issue now, 
I don't have enough books. And I could murder more cows, get loads and loads of leather, get loads and loads of paper, craft them. You know, I'd need 45 leather to do that and 135 paper, but I'm not going to do that. Or I could go to the stronghold. There's loads of bookcases there. But I don't know if I can be able to get the Enderman and the Blaze Rods and all that. that. That's effort as well. But there's one other plan that I have. And that is to grab two pieces of paper, craft a cartography table, and give this fella right here a brand new job. Oh, wow. I love your hat, good sir. Fantastic. Right, you want... Emeralds or you want paper? I'll just give you emeralds. It's going to be quicker. I have to just go and do a bit of deforestation again. This jungle really isn't safe, is it? I'm now armed with all these millions of logs. And so I can get millions and millions of emeralds. And now I need to collect up a bunch of sand to make glass panes. Looks like at this point the sand is also not realistic. It looks kind of strange next to the good dirt. And day 19 has made the blue colored things realistic. But again, I don't have any blue. I, I could make some. Hold on. I'll make blue dye. Oh, that's... Is that what blue dye looks like? It looks really strange. But then I could take this bed. Now, does it make the bed... Okay, that's not a crafting table. I'll just use this. Does it make a bed realistic? No, okay, that, it doesn't. But wool, on the other hand, now looks like that. Very cool. Don't think it was worth murdering a sheep for, but... but Still cool nonetheless. Anyway, most of this glass should have smelted by now. I find it interesting that some of them are 3D, but these the furnaces aren't. I think 3D furnaces would look a lot better. Kind of like the way the smoker is. Anyway, here's a load of glass panes. Is it going to be enough? That is the next question. No, it's not. But thankfully, plenty more is being smelted. And to get the Woodland Explorer map, a compass is necessary. Unfortunately, whilst I do have the iron for it, redstone of me. Oh, I could go mining for it like a peasant would. No, 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 no. I've got a much better idea. Instead, I'm going to take the brewing stand and support the economy. That's it. You be why, why, why is it like the cleric clothes are just so unrealistic compared to everything else? Anyway. There we go. Let's grab that. I think I only need one. Then compass can be made. More glass traded. And the map bought. Okay, where's it sending me? A long, long way northwest. And northwest is in this direction, so that is where I'll be heading. To get books from a woodland mansion, and not just books, I'll also be able to get totems, which will be very, very useful. And for day 20, look what we've got now. Yes! Realistic physics. Very, very cool indeed. Just look at it. Look at the way the tree collapses. Look at the way the debris goes everywhere. One of the best mods ever. Just makes destroying anything look way better. Just the way it all collapses. I love it. And as you saw from the creeper, the explosions are very, very cool as well. Wow, look at the walls. They look very, very cool. And he looks angry. Whoa, I don't like you when you're angry. Look at your teeth, poor sheep. Wow, you re wow, look at those. You need to see a dentist, mate. Scary. I just prefer it when they just have red eyes. Anyway, <laughs> I've not got any bones. So, oh, look at the beast. I'm going to get sidetracked by everything. The bees look creepy. They look cute normally, but they're yeah, not, not a fan. The rose bushes look amazing. You know, you're just kind of exploring the world, seeing new things, and it's really cool just to, to, to see things discovered. Like a realistic baby ship. Oh my goodness, you are ugly. Okay, never mind. They're way cuter in Minecraft's normal textures. Day 21 adds realistic water and realistic lava, which I'm looking forward to seeing because before the lava just looked terrible. And I'm sure now it'll be so, so much better. It's nice to find a new area from sailing. Look at the pods all looks very, very nice indeed. And I'm just going to jump on shore for a little sleep. And day 22 has made the sand more realistic. So now it, it, it fits in much better with the surroundings. Wow, other than a few things like mushrooms, everything in this biome is pretty much perfect. I love the ferns. They look like actual Minecraft. Are they ferns or are they... They, they might be just grass, actually. Oh, and a creeper. I tell you, their face looks terrible. Oh, here we go. I love the explosions, by the way. I, I you know, Every time I see a creeper, we're going to make it blow up just so I can... Oh, he <laughs> was just stuck in the tree. Hello, sheep. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The forest is on fire. I kind of want to see it, though. Yeah, I'm not going to help. I'm just going to... Oh, look at the lava. Very cool. Can I, can I do something about this? Maybe I could put out the fire... What do you reckon? No, no, it's a lost cause. You know what? Lava looks, uh... I guess that's what real lava looks like. Hence the fact that, that Minecraft's getting more realistic. Anyway, I'm still gonna get to this woodland mansion. And I'm still quite a bit away by the looks of things. Now we're coming into a snowy area. So the snow, at the moment, looks absolutely terrible. It just... It just doesn't fit the aesthetics well at all. And I think it's gonna be quite a long way down the line before snow gets more realistic. So we're, we're just gonna have to get used to these... These weird covered leaves. <laughs> look at the obsidian as well. I like that a lot. It's, look at it. Look at the detail on it. Very ingrained. Anything good in here? Not really. Wow. Well, okay. The gold weighted pressure plate. Oh, it's got a cool little pattern on it. Okay, I like that. Not much else of interest here. Might as well grab that block and continue searching. Well, what do we have here? A pillager outpost. And the pillagers. <laughs> what are them faces? Look at you. You do not look happy. My goodness gracious me, I've never seen someone so angry. And then you look really happy, the, uh, the pumpkins. Wow, okay. What? <laughs> I should just lying on the ground. Um, I, I guess it's good to know where this is. I don't know whether it's worth 
Maybe on my way back, I come here and, and then I can do a raid. Because there's a village just there, so not far away at all. Obviously, my priority right now is to find the mansion. So I've made sure to note down the coordinates. For day 23, glass has now become realistic. I don't know if this village actually has glass. I, I guess it's too cold in a, in a snowy place. Hello. <laughs> it's a bit too cold in a snowy place. Or is it? Is this glass right here? Oh, so that's how glass looks now. It looks, um, looks very clean, very nice. Just like a real window. And it looks like in the north direction, we're getting close to where we need to be. So I mainly need to turn and go this way now. It's like it's autumn for this tree. It's uh, <laughs> It's got brown leaves. You love to see it, guys, don't you? Loads of ice. You can go so, so fast across it. Very, very satisfying. It just keeps going as well. Look at this. That has certainly saved me a heck of a lot of time. And there it is. The great mansion. I could just see a slither of the roof. And also day 24 added pink, purple and magenta realistic textures. Not really that relevant when you're about to enter a woodland mansion. First things first, I'm crafting a brand new shield. And I probably should have got a bow, could have got one from a Fletcher, but I haven't. I'm sure I'll be fine. All right, the first enemy. You look so angry, by the way. You know, like, you know... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's lost his suit. Oh, your head's upside down, mate. That's, uh, that's not a good day for you. I do also hear a laze. Now, last time I saw a laze, I don't think they were realistic. Oh, they're in here. What are you? The the, uh, the big bad guard? Hello, LA. Are you just normal? No no realism whatsoever? Nope, just the normal bog standard LA. Well, be free. I don't want to forget the main reason I actually came here. Not to get totems or to, to, to ruin your day. Also, look at the realistic wall. It, re it really comes to life now. But anyway, I've come to find bookcases. Downstairs does not seem to have any. So hopefully one of the rooms up here... Well, I've just realized if you throw an item, it just lands on the ground like that now. It doesn't like hover like they used to. Okay. Oh, no. The evokers and the vexes. Whoa, look at you. <laughs> you uh, you don't look like the greatest thing. Anyway, we got a totem fairly easily. I don't want to stay in there. And I've just spotted bookcases, which is fantastic. I'm going to put that there. Got an iron axe. That's nice. Yeah, let's, let's start grabbing books. First, this little bedside one. Then I'm sneaking through, giving them the old run around. If I could actually get through. I didn't think this through, did I? Oh, actually. There we go. Now to begin mining these up. There you go, Vex. See you later, old teacher. And then I can pop back downstairs and nip out here. Oh, it's quite a long way up. Further than I <laughs> expected it to be. But anyway, from here, we'll do something like that. And mine up the bottom of this tree. Fantastic. Loads of wood instantly. Then I can turn it to planks and craft all the bookshelves I need. And I could just go home. I've got the bookcases. I've got a totem, but... I get the feeling like there's going to be more evokers in there. So first I'll deal with this spider. Oh, you're way too realistic. I, I can like see the hairs on you. I don't like that one. But, oh, no way. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go to sleep. And then I'm going to get my way back in. All right, evokers. Where are you hiding? Apparently there's just creepers everywhere. Okay, this is um, it's a little hairy. Let's get rid of you. And then I can't let the rest blow up. <laughs> Come on, guys. Move out the way. Well, yeah, evokers are a little scarce up here. Anything good in the chest? Ooh, ooh, that's very good. That's worth coming for. And redstone looks so fancy. It makes me want to take it because it looks like a ruby or something, but it's it's not. Don't be deceived. Ah, the magenta. I told you it'd been updated. Also, day 25 added updated fire, which I'm going to be putting to the test. You'll soon see how. But before that, there is a third level. I bet this is where the evokes are. Is there usually a chest behind it? Uh, no, maybe not. Just you guys. That's definitely my mistake going there. Let's block that up and then see if we can find it. I don't think we can, you know. I, th I think it's been a massive scam. One evoker in the entire building. Well, you know what that means. Alrighty. I'm taking my flint and steel. Ooh, now that looks great. I think it would look great to see the entire place look like that too. I get way too much enjoyment out of this. Look at it all going up in flames. And I've set the forest on fire. Okay, yeah, I didn't mean that. I just wanted to get the house, not everything else. Well, we put the realistic fire to good use, didn't we? And I did get a totem and some bookcases, so my work here is done. And my new priority is to get back to that outpost. For day 26, we've got the realistic fire spread mod, which basically means if an entity gets set on fire, it sets fire to things around it. So I'm going to use myself as the test subject. We go like that. Okay, well, I didn't set on fire for long enough. Let me just uh, properly burn myself. Now, do I set... Yeah, look at that. It's all it's all setting on fire. I can go like that. And the fire does indeed spread from it. Okay, that's, that's very cool. Not very helpful, but you would think it's kind of realistic if somebody did get set on fire and they touched something on fire, it would all go up in smoke. Also, I was going to say this is the worst shipwreck ever, but it does have a chest when the chest eventually loads. As I was saying, it does have a chest with a buried treasure map. I'll take... Actually, I don't need the books. I've got a million books now. Okay, it's it's a scammed one, though. It's a buried treasure map that doesn't lead to any treasure. Can't quite see what's happened to my boat. I've also just got mining fatigue because there's a monument there that I didn't even see. Do I go for it? I think if anybody can pull this off, it's it's got to be me. Although, having said that, I could probably do with a bow. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to do it some other time. I have no idea where my boat is. I'll just make myself a new one. I have to leave that crafting table there as well. I just need to find a cow now so I can get some milk. And yeah, I'll return to those guys 
when they're a bit more realistic. Ah, the ice planes are back. I do love sailing across them. There's the outpost. I've only got 22 seconds left of mining fatigue, so that, that's not going to be a problem. I would release this golem, but I, I can't. Or can I? Aha, if I set it on fire, that'll soon get him out. Whoa, guys, I'm just, just setting, burning things up. Oh, no, I've set him on fire. I'm sorry. <laughs> this was not intentional. I just punched him as well. You know what? I'm just moving on. So, have we got any uh, villagers about? Look at these. Oh, these look very fancy indeed. I love it. Anyway, I'm thinking if I grab a bit of wood and then build up as high as I can, that'll make more new villagers spawn in. So I eventually get a captain. And I can have a good night's sleep from up here too. And on this day, my food is looking much more real. Look at it. It actually looks like a piece of steak. And more importantly, is there a captain down there? I don't see it. I think I'll have to build up more. There we go. Just got to get down before he despawns. I think I'm going to... I'm not going to MLG it because I... You know what? Yeah, I am going to MLG it. Why not? Okay, what's the worst that could happen? Nothing, you see. I, I do these MLGs all the time. Then to get rid of you, Mr. Angry Man, literally. And they're all after me. Okay, this is not good. Because I'm going towards the village and I don't really want them to follow me here. Oh, they're all following me. I can't take you all on. <laughs> I do need to get some string as well, so I'll, I'll just grab a bit of that. There might even be some over here. I, I need string and I need arrows because I feel like doing a raid without a bow, it's going to be possible, but it's it's going to be hard work. Gravel. Gravel is like the only thing that doesn't look realistic now, so flint is required. That's what I'm currently aiming to get. Did I get a flint there? Yeah, I got another one. So I'll make the fletching table. And then do I want to ruin that village's day or that one? I think... I'm going to go for this one. All right, guys, don't panic, but this is my fault, <laughs> as always. Now, in here, have we got a, have you got a job? Anybody want a job? All right, I just need to do some trading with a villager that isn't panicking. Come on, somebody. Yes, Fletcher. And I just need to buy some arrows. Honestly, you've just won us the war, mate, okay? We've got this. Now, that's it. Get into a house. All right, they're here, guys. Don't want to panic you, but they're here. Just, just get to safety, all right? You leave the stuff to me. I'm really curious to see what the ravages are going to look like. I bet it's going to be crazy. Well, the first things first. Let's close you in there, all right? At least one villager needs to survive. I don't think you can sneak around. No, 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 buddy. No chance for you. Where is it this time? Oh, over the hill, eh? Well, I'm ready for you. Yeah, who's the pillager now? That's right. Wait, if you take one out with a crossbow, I'm pretty sure you get an advancement for that. So I'm, I'm going for it. Just takes about 17 million shots. Come on, three shots. There we go, nice. You may have the high ground. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to... Gonna do it the, the old safety axe way. Works well. And there's one left that I found over here. I see Ravager. Is it? Is he? Is he realistic? Uh, he is. What the heck is that? I have never seen a face that good. Uh, you know, I just made before for Cliff. What on earth is going on with your teeth and your eyes? I don't like this one bit, ladies and gentlemen. Really, I, I, yeah. Talk about curse. This is not realistic at all. This is just uh, scary. Thankfully, the crossbow's doing the trick. I don't really have anything else to use because. My shield is in my inventory and I'm too lazy to get it out. So instead, crossbow, prop four armor. You know what? I'm going in with the axe. No, I'm not. That was a, that was the stupidest idea. Oh, and it's going dark. It's, it's pretty weak. There we go. Defeated. And then the old pillager is also finished off. Don't know where the last one is, but this is probably a perfect time to get some sleep. And now crops and food are more realistic, but I can't see anywhere that has those things. And I also can't see where the final pillager is either. Aha. The old bell discovered, uh, revealed you anyway. That poor villager, that's it. Stay in there, guys. In fact, let me block up the door. No one in or out. Here is wave number three, which was pretty easy. Wave number four, on the other hand, is a little less straightforward. There goes the totem. Good thing I got another one just before. Well, despite the difficulties, that wave is done. And I suspect things will only get harder. Especially when there's people like you around. Actually, it was fairly straightforward. And I might be able to quickly sleep before the next wave comes. Just about in time. The Run, little villager. I believe this is the final wave. And this day has added realistic nether blocks. So glad I grabbed the crossbow. It just definitely made life easier for me. I shouldn't really be doing this, but I can't, can't say no to a few extra axe hits to uh, speed things up. There we go. That's another Ravager down. And my helmet is so close to breaking, I've just got to take it off. I can't keep it. Which will make everything even harder. Give me, a view. Give me another totem, yes. Only the Ravager and Evoker on top of it can stop me now. I'm going to try... Oh, he's charging now. Come on. Yes, I got rid of the Evoker. That's huge. It basically means Vex is out of problem. You need to go as well. You're causing some serious problems for me. Nobody needs to be healed by it. Okay, we're just about doing this all right. I can get through that gap. Maybe I build up at this point. I don't know if I have any blocks to build up with though. And I've used up all my arrows. All right, well, looks like it's you against me. And I got you. Thank goodness you didn't have much left in you. Don't know where the Fletcher is. Are you chasing that little fella? Pick on someone your own size, Mr. Angry. Oh no, there's another Evoker. 
Oh, oh, run, 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 run. Okay, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize there was another evoker over there. Totems have saved my life. So I can get one more totem still, which is nice. Just got to find where this fella is. There we are. Don't spawn more vexes, please. There we go. Got it. Get rid of you. Okay, it's just me v you. Oh, you can hide in there all you want. That's it. Oh, no, the vexes are still going strong. And there we go. Fantastic. Yeah, that's it. Get flung far, far away. And I, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the hero of the village. And the work crops here. So this is what crops now look like. Okay, don't ruin this for me, guys. I'm trying to... Just show some stuff. Yeah, you know what? I'm just leaving. I'm going to get out of here. There's loads of ice here, which I'm looking forward to sliding on. But yeah, I'm going to get out of here and attempt to find lava so that I can use that to go to the nether. Then that'll let me get home way, way faster. Or have I found something better? Yes, a ruined portal. Now, it has gold, which is the first thing I'd like to grab. And also obsidian. I could mine this up and build my own portal because... Not only is there the obsidian here, which takes forever to mine, but then there's also what I have in my inventory. So now we've got four, and I reckon there's plenty more where that came from. I love the way the grass spreads onto other blocks, but yeah, I'm actually starting to think that maybe there isn't plenty more where that came from, because... Uh, wait, what? Oh, is this obsidian? Okay, well, that was just... I didn't even realise. I, I nearly got scammed by it. So maybe this is obsidian too? Oh, there's more there. And it's the 10th piece, so it'll, it'll see me to where I need to get to. Let's get this built and check out the nether. Oh my goodness, it's... Don't you bring my port. It's taken me to a bastion. So, one portal took me to a, a fortress, the other one took me to a bastion. I don't think I've ever had that much portal luck in my life. <laughs> I just, uh, just a shame there's two gas waiting for me, but... Nothing I, uh, I can't handle, ladies and gentlemen, with a well-placed... Well, you'd think with a well-placed thing. There, no? <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's it. Get flung far, far away. So we've got a bastion. Yeah, things are looking more realistic. It just, it looks cool, does the bastions. And the netherrack. Oh, the greeniness. I like it. Although the, the ore's there. Yeah, slightly missing. Glowstone looks weird. I'm, I'm sorry, there's no two ways about it. Lava. Yeah, the nether's looking a little different from last time. I can also sleep and upgrade things even more. So that's what I'll, I'll quickly do. Also, I love the night sky, by the way. I know I said it before, but it, it really looks cool. So what does day 30 bring? Well, now mobs also look more realistic, as you can see. They, they do. How do the piglins look? Do they look more realistic? Yeah, they do. They have a bit of a, a more pig-like face. What about the gas? Is the gas creeping? What on earth? That just looks like you're asleep. <laughs> That's strange. Yeah, so the big... Oh, look at your tusk. You look really... They look way more angry and menacing. All right, don't start shooting me, all right? You've got your eyes closed. No wonder you couldn't... Have... Oh, wait, your eyes open? Well, that's some uh, interesting thing, but I don't really want to be, be dealing with this. I... Yeah, let's just um, let's just go down here. And before I do anything else, I've got to get myself a helmet, all right? It's one thing I'm in the brutes after you. Don't want everyone else angry, though, okay? Then we drop down here. Do I, do I go for this? Are you ready? No, 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 you're right. No, <laughs> I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna jump like this. Is he gonna jump down after me? Nope, he's not crazy. Then I'm gonna get myself some lava instead. Grab blocks and build back up. From there, I can safely grab gold. Don't think anybody saw, which is always nice. I can grab the, no, no, he saw that one. <sighs> well, that was close. Three of you, eh? I uh, can't just catch a break, can I? Let's get rid of you. Also, the mod that get... What are these helmets, by the way? I hate these helmets. But the mod that's going to get added on day 30, by the way, is insane. And I just nearly got shot into lava. What are you doing? Oh, it's because I took the gold helmet off. Let's just keep that on. Then he's not angry. Um, okay, what is this lava not working for? But yeah, best mod ever the next one. You guys cannot wait to see it. I think next we go... We go... We go... We take this systematically and safely. So we go up here next. There's a brute behind me. So I've got to go like that. Oh, I... Oh, I made it. So much for doing it systematically. That was the riskiest thing I've ever done. You know what I like about this realism? Is it's not too over the top. Like, it's not crazy, but it, it looks real and it, it works nicely. But it's also not making your eyes hurt. Well, it's not making my eyes hurt anyway. I, I don't know about yours. Some of my armor just broke. Oh, my boots. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, um, yeah, I've just got these guys after me, so I have to be a little careful. I realized I messed up something down here. Yeah, there's meant to be a block on there. So, well, at the moment, they can just walk straight up. That's that's where I went wrong. Let's lava you. There'll be no escape now. And I got pearls. I got thrown pearls. I don't know where he threw them to. Because I think... Oh, they're in my inventory. Fantastic. You know, I've got a diamond. I've got an anvil. Why don't I just do a little bit of repairing? Then at least I'll be able to wear the helmet alongside gold boots. That's it. Don't be angry at me, guys. I've looted this side as much as I'd like to. And it is the next day, which means I can show you the very cool mod that is added on this that, that makes Minecraft more realistic. And it makes Minecraft way more cool as well. To show it, I've just got to head up here. And now we go over to the portal. Looks like a pretty normal portal to me. But I'm going to break this piece of obsidian. Then replace it. Get myself some flint. And look what happens. <laughs> so far, nothing. Just give it a second. And now look what we have. Is it not insane? Is it not the coolest thing ever? 
It's a bridge between dimensions and you can look to it. It's absolutely... It's the best mod ever. I love it. I love it so, so much. Don't know why I didn't connect to that portal over there that I'd already built. Maybe it couldn't because it has to make a new one for this, but... Yeah, I love it. I am gonna I'm gonna break it though. Um just for the reason being that I need the obsidian, so there's no point having it here and then and then not using it. And I'm not gonna use this portal again. But yeah, I, I think it's absolutely epic, isn't it? And I also have more important things to do, like splash myself with this, move out the way of the Oh! Get finessed, gas. You just just walk backwards on you. Right, then we're heading down. We're going big here, ladies and gentlemen. We're boating, no messing about. Here we go. Jump out, run, okay. Oh, we're all right, though. As you can see, we're completely... Whoa, well, I'd say we're all right. You guys are crazy jumping in after me like that. Now I need to get rid of that spawner. Am I going to, like, float on the lava? That's, that's crazy. Okay, well, you guys were a little stupid going after me like that. Okay, we got diamonds. I guess I could maybe take that chest. I don't need that chest, but... A netherite ingot, let's go. There's basically only one reason that netherite ingot is useful, and it is so that I can eventually change the helmet to not be a strange diamond one. Boss got away with so much gold, which is fantastic. I think my work here is done. I'll get my boat back, and then if I head out here in this direction, I think I'm safe from them. Yeah, if I head out in this direction, I'm pretty certain that I will come to where the fortress is. Tell you what I'm not certain about, that my fire resistance is going to last me Till I get to the, the the shore of this. Okay, I've got 10 seconds. Yeah, okay, well, that's, this is um, this is being a sticky situation. Don't you worry. That's what Ender Pearls are for. And now, where is this fortress? And the mission has been successful. I've, uh, I've found it. It's the same as the lava lake between me and where I need to go. Thankfully, I think I can get to land over there. And then just safely walk all the way around. Since I'm in the vicinity and there's a lot of Endermen here. I've, I've got to. I've just got to go and get these Ender Pearls, haven't I? There's like six here. Man, and they've all got different coloured eyes. I don't know why. What is going on with you? You need to get some sleep, mate. Your eyes aren't meant to look like that. They're meant to look like, look like his. I can't look at them, though. <laughs> oh, that was, uh, that was stressful. Obviously, this stupid pigment went in the boat so the other guy wouldn't fit. Anyway. We're all safe again. I got a few extra pearls. Day 32 has made beehives and honey more realistic. Not very useful in the nether, but we'll soon see it. More importantly, I'm splashing myself with fire resistance and collecting up blaze rods. Oh my goodness, you look kind of terrified. Oh, what is your eyes? You look like you're on fire. Well, I guess you technically are on fire. I also think I might have run out of steak at this point. Fortunately, I did get quite a few golden carrots from the bastion, so... You know, we're not going to go hungry completely. But it's also worth remembering that a food top-up is going to be needed pretty soon. And would you look at this? It's a double spawn. I don't know if I can have both of them activated at the same time if they're quite close enough for that. But if they are, then things are going to be very, very speedy. And there's also a blaze rod down there. I I'll, g I'll get it later. Right now, the priority is get the blaze rods whilst I've got fire resistance. Because once that runs out, you know, things are going to get a little trickier. Look at that. Standing in, they both activate. Okay, that is, that is great. The fire resistance has run out. And I think the mission has been accomplished. So I'm digging down and also dropping down. <laughs> grabbing that final blaze rod and this final blaze. Then destroying this portal and making a brand new immersive one. I just want to see the whole thing happen. It just it has to load everything. And, oh, look at it. It's the village. And then can I see the same on the other side? Oh, wow. Hello, cow. Wait, can I shoot things at them? There's no way this works. Okay, it stops. And then, and then you kind of... Ah. And now I'm there. Wow. I love it. Seriously, the best mod ever. Seriously, it has to be go down as one of my favorites. Anyway, I can't keep going on about that old video. I'd better get to sleep. Day 33 has made all white colored stuff look realistic. And I am going to spend this time. Oh, it's amazing. I am going to spend the time getting more Ender Pearls. And hopefully this time not getting in a battle with an Enderman that I can't win. That's Ender Pearl number 8. And the ninth one. The 10th. 11th. 12th. 13th. And the 14th. Don't think I'll need more than that, but if I see another Enderman... Of course I'm going to go for it. And of course it drops me another pearl. All right, very nice. Straight through the immersive portal I go. It never gets old. And now I can finally set up these bookshelves. Yes, it's been some time in the making. And I feel like I've been halfway around the world for them, but <laughs> it's job done. Hopefully I can get something good on the pickaxe. Efficiency for... I'll take it. I'll take that every day of the week. And if I can just get a little bit more XP to get back to level 30, then I'll be able to level up something else as well. Of course has got to be the perfect answer. Gets you XP very, very fast. I don't know why it's not realistic like everything else. I'm sure it will be soon. But you would have thought that it would have been upgraded with all of the nether stuff. Also, that's that's so fast. I don't even have to wait to get through the portal, which is nice. And apparently they can follow me through. Okay, I'll, they look a little bit confused, so that's good. Now, I could do my axe, but I'm actually thinking, make another pickaxe. Do that. See if I can get silk touch, because then I'll have an ender chest. I'll tell you what, that's insane. So insane that it makes me feel like this one here is useless. I could put them together. 
That's the choice. Put them together in efficiency five. Or I can't say no to efficiency five. 17 levels is a lot, but I tell you what. It's a very, very fast pickaxe now. And I feel like to make any further progress now, I need to get mending. So you cannot be traded with. But you, Mr. Farmer, at the top of this hill. Well, I'm sure you can. Just got to dig you a nice little hole for you to live in. Oh my goodness. First try, I got mending. I was about to say, what have you given me? Okay, well, um, I'm not actually ready for that, mate. Because I ain't got any emeralds for you. Just hold that thought. We'll have to go on a very quick tree chopping spree. Also, if you're wondering, by the way, day 34 updated all the black colours, like black wool, concrete, all that stuff. So that's that's where that is. Are you still the same trade? Yep. 30 is a little steep for mending, but it's got to be worth it because you never know when you're going to get mending again. These are all for you. And I still need more, so these trees will have to do. There you go, villager. <laughs> do what you want with that. And please, 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 can this other one not have restocked? Uh, well, can he not have changed his trade? Don't let me down. You didn't. Fantastic. So that means mending can be put on these leggings, which are so close to being broken. Let's get it done. And I also need to get two more for these before they break, because they're on the edge. But before that, it's going dark. And, and what's going to get more realistic next? Well, something that desperately needs it is. Put it that way. Yes, the water. Now the water is clear. It's beautiful. It's so much more like what real water would be compared to what it was before. Very, very nice indeed. It'll look even better later on, because Minecraft is still getting way more realistic, but... The, this is, yeah, this is just a good stepping stone. I'm really glad it is so, so fast to get all the wood. It's, <laughs> it's so easy. Thank you very much. And thank you very, very much. I've sorted what I desperately needed to. And now to properly repair them, I need XP. So I am going to go back to the nether. And what will I do in the nether? Well, I will, of course, mine for quartz. And take out some place while I'm here too. And it's pretty much done. I think those are as repaired as they're going to be. I'm happy with it. I'm also going to cover you guys up because, well, I don't know why you're in there, but... Um, I don't want the mending man to be lost. Then we can sleep. And that is meant all the underwater stuff like prismarine and, and you know, anything with a monument. Seagrass, the tall seagrass was already realistic, but now the small ones are. The sea pickles will be. Just all of that. Kelp, wherever that is, we haven't got any around here. It is all now looking much, much better. Tell you what isn't looking much, much better though. My food, okay? I have got none left. So that's what I'm doing now. Going on a bit of a rampage to take out a load of mobs. And I haven't decided whether to go for cows or pigs or both. So we'll just we'll just see how I feel. And see what I find the most of too. I, at the moment, I am doing both though. Because if I don't have a good amount of food, yeah, everything else will just go wrong. The food's cooking away nicely. And it's getting dark, so I think it's time I made things more realistic. And you know how in real life you have to drink water to stay alive? Well, now I've got a water bar. So I also need to keep topped up with water. Otherwise, I'll get too thirsty. Whilst this continues cooking, I, I want to show you something that I found. And apparently I can just drink directly from water. Yep, I'm drinking up. It works. But it does it does give you the chance of getting the thirst effect if you drink dirty water like that. But anyway, look what I actually found. A pink sheep. Do you know how rare they are? They are very, very rare to spawn in. So yeah, I just came across this naturally. There's no proof that I came across this naturally. I could have died it and, and told you guys. But trust me, guys, I, I did. I wouldn't lie to you. Now, the best way to carry water is going to be for me to make a flask. This is a leather one. You can upgrade it by putting iron around it like that. Then upgrade it even more with gold. And then it can also be upgraded more with diamonds and netherite, but we're not going to do that because I don't have the diamonds at the moment. I'm going to just test this out. So, oh, okay. Have I got have I got bad water there? I can't tell. It's like, oh, it's like, it's, it's flashing green. Is it, is it filled to the top? Okay, so I can drink that. Ah, oh, it's pretty good for me. Okay, and I've got the thirst effect now. Because I filled it with dirty water. I guess that makes sense. Don't worry. I've got a way to get clean water. I haven't drink this. It keeps giving me thirst. Right, first I need I need copper. Uh, this is this is actually going to be quite a tricky challenge now. I'm taking damage because I've got no water. I can't sprint. Getting dark. I need to sleep. I don't have time for this. Day 38 has made all the red items look better, by the way. But yeah, I've got to somewhere find copper. It's good because this actually makes copper useful. Normally, I just never bother with it. Thank goodness I've found some. Let's get as much of it as we can. And coal as well. I've got Fortune 3. I just remembered. So that's perfect. So anything I mine, we're getting loads of it. That's going to be great for the furnaces. I may be um, dying of dehydration. I was trying to think of what the word is. But I'm going down swinging, ladies and gentlemen. And what on earth have we got here? <laughs> this, poor, <laughs> this poor llama's a bit stuck. Why is there a wandering trader on the roof? Hmm? What are you selling? Ooh, some very um, useless things. Thanks. Right, blast furnace down, which now has cool textures. Then coal, raw copper. And whilst I wait for that, I'm going to need to craft a campfire. That goes here. Then a chain. By now, yep, we've got all that we need. So we can make ourselves a copper cauldron. We can put that there with the chain above it. Three sticks around and we have the campfire cauldron. So the campfire cauldron just goes on there. Put your water in. 
and it's purifying it as we speak. I don't know how long it takes to purify, to be quite honest, but I, I, I just got to believe in it. Apparently it only takes five seconds to purify water, that's good. So, has it, has it filled up? Let's take it all, as much as we can, that's it. Get it all, now get drinking, SB. That's it. <laughs> Drink the good stuff. Should probably make a nice little infinite water source next to it. I'll tell you what, it's great to be able to sprint again. You forget what you had when you lose it. And my next priority has got to be to find diamonds because I want to upgrade this flask. I want it to be the best level it can be. Yes, that might even mean using my netherite ingot for it. I've realized now just how important water is. In fact, whilst I've got all these resources near me, I should probably make a second one. Just first need two more leather to craft it, and I think we've got it straight away. Job done. Filled with water, and now the caving journey can begin. Also found a very promising cave. Or maybe not a promising cave. Yeah, it just goes nowhere. My main goal is to find diamonds. Probably about eight of them, although I wouldn't mind repairing my axe as well and making a new boots. They also need to be made. So, yeah, I need... I need 13 at least. And my goodness, the water goes down so fast. <laughs> it's stressing me out. Day 39 is made, so all animal drops now look way more realistic. And I'd show you what they look like if there are any in the area, but apparently I've got rid of every mob that, that exists here. <laughs> Aha! Candidates. Although I've said that, pigs drop pork chops, which already have been upgraded. Try and find something that wasn't like leather or something that rhymes with leather. A feather! Oh, so they look at them. They look pretty nice. And they've led me right to a cave. A dripstone cave again. Oh, no, it's not a dripstone cave. It's just granite. Kind of getting sick of dripstone caves. That's iron ore, which I'm going to leave. And hopefully down here, there's diamonds hidden somewhere. The good thing is when I find the diamonds, I've got fortune three. So I'll get a lot more than what I want. Am I drowning, by the way? I thought I was on the, uh, the magma. Evidently not. But yeah, once I find those diamonds, I'm going to get multiple ones per ore. So it'll really speed things up. Well, it doesn't matter how much you can speed them up. I'm mean, not in a good position here. So we're going underneath. I'd better just block that above before I drown. I, I don't know if underwater, when you're underwater, you dehydrate at all. I'm, I'm guessing not really. And we're in. Now then. This is prime location for diamonds. And prime location for lapis. Worth grabbing because lapis is um is useful every now and again. Aha! First one, first two found. Oh, you don't ruin this for me. Finding these diamonds should be a special moment. And I got five from those two, so that's uh, that's fantastic. I also need to drink water because I can't sprint right now. It's an important thing. I reckon having four or five of those pouches is going to be the end goal. Maybe even have a shulker box just full of them that I can keep switching out. Is that a... Nope. Glow lichen. Because yeah, running out of water will just make everything... Way, way too difficult. And day 40 upgrade something that I really wanted to be fixed. Snow! You can't see it down here, unfortunately. But yeah, snow has now been sorted, and I cannot wait to see it. Completely missed this diamond. I walked underneath it and didn't even notice it. So I'm very glad that I found it on the way back. Oh, look at this. Wait, that's not the same mine shaft I was at before, is it? I don't think I went in a cave around here, but th there could just be that it's a cave that looks similar. Oh, I've been it. I put that there. I've, I'm in a cave. I've already been it. Are you kidding me? Well, it's interesting that I found diamonds in there. And here's my staircase. <laughs> well, at least it's an easy way to get out. And an easy way to get more water. Once this is a diamond one, it'll have an extra slot. And you know what? I'm upgraded to netherite. It, it then has six spots. I've got to yeah, use my netherite for this. I did not expect that. But it just goes to show how important water now is in the game. Now this time I'm going to make sure I go far, far away from where I was so that I do not go in the same cave. And you know what? Down there looks amazing. I'm going for it. I'm swimming down. It goes so, so deep, so, so fast. There could even be diamonds down here. Definitely worth having a little look, but it's, it's, it's definitely not worth. I can't believe gravel is still not realistic, by the way. Look at how terrible it looks next to everything. But yeah, it was worth having a little look. Nothing doing by the looks of things. So I'll continue digging downwards and apparently end up in another water cave. But it's, it's not just a water cave. It's a normal one as well. In fact, even better, it looks like it's a lush cave. I haven't seen those yet. You know, the old uh, flowers, the moss blocks. They look lovely. They've got mobs there as well. I'm just going to leave them behind. And I think I might dig down further because I'm still fairly high up. And I can see if there's any caves below me. Although apparently not. So I'm going to try strip mining instead. Aha, we found some. Fantastic. And it's not just one, not just two. Oh, it's loads. All the diamonds I need. 13 of them. Fantastic. And since I haven't been down here very long, even though I don't need more, I think I'm going to look for them anyway. I hear mobs above me, so I'm probably near a cave. Well, I'm near lava, that's for sure. And is it lava that connects to a cave? Yes, it is. And is it a cave that'll have diamonds? When on earth is lava going to... Uh, is uh, gravel going to sort itself out? <laughs> I don't know when it gets upgraded. But I tell you what, it desperately needs it. Nice little geode. Yeah, the amethyst as well looks... It, it just feels so weird to come and find places like this that aren't upgraded. They're just completely out of place. Looks to me like this cave has been a letdown. So I'm just going to continue strip mining. Although having said that, I can still hear mobs and they weren't in that direction. Maybe there is another cave. Just before I move on, I'm going to try and track down... Oh, is this it? Oh, hello. I found you. And this is a cave and a half. Maybe this could just be what has the diamonds. It might just have saved myself a lot of strip mining. Or maybe it hasn't. I can't actually see any diamonds down here. It's a load of hairy spiders which, uh, which creep me out. Wait, is that a spider? 
What are you doing? <laughs> oh, man, it's like a statue. Huh? That I do not like. That's it. Get out of it. Anyway, I should search the offshoots. I s Aha! We've got him. It was all worth it after all. That's one, two, another two. We're on 19. Fantastic. I'll just check underneath. Might have been an extra one there. I, I was kind of mining so fast that I couldn't tell. I think I did get a little extra. So, yeah, 22 now. And there's some in the room. Did I just walk underneath this? Oh, I came that way. I didn't even see the ones... <laughs> right, I can't even see when I'm underneath them. And everything opens up this way. So I reckon there's still <laughs> quite a few more mobs. Oh, no. Something broke. Are they my gold boots that broke? I think so. They won't be my diamond stuff anyway. But yeah, I reckon there's still quite a bit more to be found down here. There's plenty more to be explored. I'm glad I didn't just continue strip mining. It drops down here. And look at that. More diamonds. Also, day 42 has made quartz look better. You can't see it right now, but trust me, when we do see it, it'll look a lot better in the nether. Just got point blank poisoned as well. That's the last thing I wanted. Well, I guess I'll just have to accept that um, <laughs> I'll have to, well, I'm going to be going down to half a heart. And this is where I have to be careful. There's a mob that way. There's a mob this way. Just run past the creeper. Block it up. Okay, we're good. Poison is gone. I need to drink water. Always remember in real life and in the game to drink water. And we've got a dungeon. How cool does the spawner look? Wow. It's like a glass box or something. Well, that could be mined up. Chests look pretty normal. Okay, that fire pro I'm not going to use that. Okay, what are you doing here? Trying to grab the gold nap. Oh, it's a nut chapel! I didn't I couldn't even tell the difference. It looks realistic and it looks worse when it's realistic. I didn't, I didn't even expect that. Well, talk about a fantastic little find. I think I can definitely leave here proud of what I've accomplished. Mission to get out has been successful. And I believe I need to go this way to sail back home. I'm starting to think I took a wrong turn in because... That does not look like home. And if you're wondering, day 43 made books and bookshelves more realistic. I, I, I can't actually see them because I've not got any on my... Oh, wait, have I got a book on me? No, 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 I haven't. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see that when I get... Well, when I hopefully one day get back to my base. But these mountains, there's, there's got to be a deep dark below them. And whilst I have so far managed to get one notch apple, I say why not try and get two? I also want to see how the snow looks. The, the, the more realistic snow looks pretty normal... To me, I need to see what it looks like on a tree. Oh, it's powdered snow. Oh, okay. That's caught me out. I haven't seen this since the, the start of the video. How about this? I just come over here, work my way down as far as I can go. Not into the lava, though. Come on, SP. <laughs> Be careful. And hopefully I see Skulk at the bottom. That wasn't very good, was it? Um, I do see Skulk. Okay, fantastic. I've also got a crazy creeper after me. Bro, you don't want, it, you don't want the warden to appear, all right? None of us want that. But yeah, then the next question is... Do I have an ancient city down here? I swear, if you set off that shrieker, I don't think you can. You're setting off everything. I don't think you can set off the shrieker. I think it's only me. But of course, it's a bit of a challenge not to when he's here. <laughs> anyway, there's nothing much doing. There's the amethyst as well. It seems like this section, unless it's a bit below it, which there definitely could be. In fact, I'm going to find out. Oh, okay. Well, I set off a, a shrieker. Oh, well. Might as well just commit to it now. Is there anything below me? It looks like the answer. Don't jump down here, you. I see you up there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> looks as though, yeah, nothing below me. I'm going to try and dig around a little bit. See if there's anything about. Because you just never know. I think it's also going to be night time. So, yep, I can get to sleep. And day 44 has made all remaining mob drops look realistic. So, anyway, let's see if I can find an ancient city down here. And I found one. Okay. I've been digging for it. Guys, you have no idea. I dug this massive long tunnel right here. And on top of that, I searched in that direction. I searched in that direction. This is, uh, this is the third way that I looked. And now that I'm sprinting down here, I seem to be losing water. If you just walk and mine, you don't use up that much water. But as soon as you start sprinting, it, it all goes down. In fact, speaking of water, I should probably sort myself some more. Since I'm pretty sure I brought all of the resources needed to do it, just in case. Take it on there. Put some water in, fill the pouch, and drink up. Also, for day 45, I did the sound physics remastered. So now there's like echoes and stuff. So listen to this. So it's basically added like a reverb, like by mine. You can kind of hear it. And it'll be interesting to see just how scary this place becomes with the echoes of the wardens. I'd love to find some water. There's some over there. As long as I stick to wool, I should be fine. Avoid the skulk sensors. And here we go. Mission to reach the water has been successful. It is just one. But I did see... Oh, look at this, a spawner. Man, the echo effect is so cool. I love it. Let's have a look in here. Anything with... Acro affinity. You know what? That's worth taking. And yeah, that's the first time to show that, yeah, the rest of the mob drops are now realistic. I'm gonna jump down. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> Don't try an MLG on the stairs. That's where I'm headed. And am I able to sleep? I am. And this has made Skulk realistic. Look how crazy it looks now. It's completely different. I love it. 
Wow, the whole place just looks amazing. Although I do kind of dread to think, oh my, it's, it's, this is really, really weird. I dread to think what the warden's gonna look like. I also got so many damage, 52 from doing all of that mining. It was a, a very good haul. Having Fortune 3 helped so much. There is also more, I, I did see them. Yeah, look there. So I'm going in. Whilst I'm down here, I think it's very smart to make some shears to grab wool because then I can sneak around this place and be much, much safer. Two stacks should be enough. I can use that to get around without having to slow down. And I can also use it to block the shriekers. Anything good? It's hard to tell what everything is. Is it just coal? That's what it looks like. I think that's going to set off that shrieker, isn't it? So I'm going to pre-block it up. Okay, I just accidentally set one off anyway because I wasn't crouching. Oh, well. Just got to embrace it now. And I was trying to get back to my water and where my tunnel was. Just realized I was going in completely the wrong direction. You know what? I'm just, I'm just running. You know what? I'm not, I'm not even caring about the warden anymore. I'm just running around. It might get set off. Yep, whatever, okay? Can I find one notch apple? I'm going to leave when the one spawns. I, I think one more or two more things and it'll, it'll spawn. And I say bring it on. I'm not afraid of him. This really does look cool, doesn't it? Like the skulk all around the lava. And I'll get myself a nice little water source. Put these in. And day 48 has made grey blocks look more realistic. That's not a grey block, is it? That's a grey block. That's not. That's grey wool, though. So things like that look more realistic. I've got my water. Let's get that in there so I can get busy drinking up. And I can also upgrade this gold pouch to now be a diamond one because we have loads of them. It's good to be back on good terms with water. There's a chest over there. I'm not leaving till I get a notch apple. What's happened? To Do I never, not even have any boots? Might as well sort that out. Please don't a shrieker. Yes, we got one. Fantastic. I feel like I can set the warden off now and I don't care. Okay, well, I say I take it back. You know what? You know what? Maybe I do care a little bit. I wouldn't mind Swiss Neat 3. That's fantastic. Um, I don't know what to get rid of. I'll get rid of some of that. Alrighty. The annoying thing is, you're like right by where I want to be. Come wool, block it. Can I get this chest and him not protect me? You don't sniff me. Whoa, 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 whoa. You also don't look very realistic right now, buddy. You look a little out of place here. I'm in hardcore and don't have that many notch apples, so I, I probably would die if I got into a battle with him. But I want to know what's in this chest more than anything. Come on. Was it worth it? Nope, it was not worth it. I'd love to get those, but I feel like I can't. <laughs> or can I? I can throw that. I can throw that. I'm going to drink, fill up, mine up. I can't mine that up because I don't have silk touch. I've got my water. I'll grab a crafting table and then I'm off. See you later, warden. I don't need to be here. Better block this up. I don't know if he can uh, fit through that gap. And as you can see, I'm still using wool right now because there's, there's a few shriekers knocking about. Did accidentally activate a warden down there, but there's no need to panic from him. He can't get me. I can see the sky. I can see the outside. Oh, how I have missed the sunshine. I feel like you guys can't take me seriously with that helmet on. But anyway, it's great to be out here. I'm going to craft a load of campfires. I can make seven. So that's, that's good. As long as I have those two things and water, I can always get more. And since it's dark, I should probably get some sleep. Day 49 has improved yellow and orange blocks, but apparently that, that does not include beds. And there it is. Home sweet home. I am back at the, ooh, careful, but I'm back at the village. Back at the village where I can grab more water. And with enough emeralds, I can buy a fancy power two boat. Good thing chopping trees is a very easy way to get them. Day 50 has improved ice. There just isn't any around here to, to show you. There you go, mate. Sticks for you. And a very nice bow for me. And I think at this point, with everything that I've got, I am ready to take on the Ender Dragon. So I'm making my eyes of Ender and beginning the search. Alrighty, it's that way. Which is kind of perfect because I could also get a load of wood from the jungle. And then I can use that wood for when I need to explore the end and find the elytra because such a task does require you to have quite a lot of blocks did get a little bit carried away there four and a half stacks the only other thing i want to keep an eye out for is paper which i can of course get from things like sugarcane and then i'll use it to craft firework rockets which are another very useful commodity oh okay i've gone past it but before i go back in that direction i just want to grab six more sugarcane and then every single bit of gunpowder will be crafted day 51 has modified effects so i guess if i was to have something like fire resistance water breathing whatever it would then show the effects slightly differently. Sometimes get haste from drinking water. I'm just, I'm just working out. That is very, very strange indeed. Anyway, I can't dwell on that. I need to just make sure. What is this? Dirty water as well? Why have I got thirst? Anyway, can't look into that too much. I've just got to drink up and then and not be thirsty. <laughs> now, according to my calculations, yeah, it's right down here. Is this gravel? Has gravel now updated? No way, this is gravel. Oh, it's clay. Oh, clay looks completely different to what I expected it to be. And apparently digging down here just led me to water. Hopefully it carries on. I guess it probably does. Yep, we are in the stronghold. What have we got over here? Just apples and iron boots. Not that good. An amethyst geode. Yeah, amethyst still looks kind of terrible. That doesn't though. That's all my water gone. Golden apple, nice. I think I'll just eat it. And here it is, the portal room. I'll get rid of the spawner. Already one eye in, which is nice. Means I only need six more... That can be placed like so. The end portal looks kind of terrible, by the way, doesn't it? But... <gasps> How cool is that? 
I can see the end. Wow. Okay. Wow. I love it. The obsidian is real, but the end... Yeah, okay. I, wow. And the dragon's not yet spawned in. This is so cool. Can I sleep before I go? Okay, I can sleep. And conveniently, day 52 has added end blocks. Yes, the end portal looks way better. And look at this. End stone now looks so, so cool. This is, this is crazy. So the question is, if I jump through, do I just fall through or do I go to the end portal? Where do I go? I, I don't know what's going to happen here. Here we go. I'm in. I'm floating down. What's going on? Okay. I don't think I need to MLG. I think I did. But that is such a cool way to enter. Alrighty, Ender Dragon. It's you and me. Is the Ender Dragon actually looking realistic? It doesn't look like it. Look at the effects on that, by the way. That beam. It looks so good. I love the explosion effects, by the way. Look at it. You can kind of see the particles of iron bars going everywhere. Getting rid of the towers is proving to be fairly straightforward. I've made an Enderman angry, though, so all of a sudden it's not so straightforward. Good job, I can easily defeat them. And maybe that's what I meant by realistic effects. Look at the uh, look at the effects there. Still haven't worked out why some of the Endermen have orange eyes and some don't. Dragon is perching a little prematurely. I've got a quite a tall tower to get to. I might even build up. This is where things could go wrong. I'm going to keep an Ender Pearl handy, because you just never know. I'm going to place loads of blocks down just because I want the cool effect. Am I going to get... Oh, I've got to be careful there. But yeah, I just want to see it. But then if we go and yeah, shoot this. Look at them. Look at the blocks go everywhere. Really cool. Let's just get rid of these quickly. Whilst I'm up here, I don't want any trouble. Perfect. All towers are gone. And I can MLG off here. That's it. Oh, I did that. Oh, okay. I, I got some Enderman on the way down. Completely messed up the MLG. I've got another totem, so we don't have to panic. Man, it's not often you see SP missing MLG, though. Don't charge after me, please. Oh, no. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Why are there so many of them angry at me? It just takes forever to get rid of them, doesn't it? But anyway, straightforward enough. And as I'm out of water, I don't want it to become a problem. So, mid-battle, I'm going to get myself some more. Green eyes? Okay, they're after him. But I didn't know they do, did green eyes endermen as well. I can stick that in there and fill this up to drink it. I'll also be able to do some damage onto this dragon. So let's, uh, let's do that while we can. At least I thought I could. Apparently I can't reach. That's, um, that's annoying. I've got to be careful. If I need to MLG, I need to be ready for it. Why can't I reach you? This isn't realistic. I'm not too small, am I? There we go. Go on an angle. Why can't I... What? The, the, the dragon is... Yeah, you see, that's what I didn't want to happen because <laughs> it's weird. And now I've got an enderman after me. Look, I'm, I'm in the middle of something here. Okay, that's it. Fly away. Just don't touch my, my water and I don't mind. Looks like I'm going to have to improvise, or at the very least for now, go with the bow. It's very, very helpful that that villager gave me a power 2 one. Otherwise, I'd be in trouble. 38 arrows. Hopefully going to be enough. Another purge. I'll see if this one goes any better. I've also got to purify some more water. I don't have time for this. All right, dragon. We're going like that. This is how it's going to be, okay? One way or another. I can't hit you. What is this? Is this, is this realistic Minecraft? You can hit me. I can't hit you. That's not fair. Okay, and I'm just getting hit back. You know, this is very bizarre. I almost missed that. MLG. I almost landed on the side of the block. But it seems that using the bow is going to be the only way. And what did I do with my netherite pouch? Why can't I sit? Where is it? Just reviewed the footage. I put it in a chest in the stronghold and swapped it for a golden apple. Why would I do that? This just basically confirms I'm an idiot. I can't afford to miss all these shots, by the way. Every shot needs to land because I don't have that many arrows left. Okay, stop shooting, SP. 30 arrows and a bed to defeat the Ender Dragon. Why have I got all this junk and I decide to put my netherite pouch out there? It's just annoying. Okay, I can get it a little bit here. I'm just, I'm making sure of this. Nobody. And if I can get the head, then it does more damage as well. Okay, I can get that arrow back. I'll have that. Why punching you doesn't work, I have no idea. Okay, don't move away from the bed, all right? I put it there so that it would get you. Probably still fine. Yep, that's that's decent damage. Oh, man, this is certainly not what I expected. I'm going to try reloading my game. Maybe that will help. Okay, it did. Fantastic. Okay, must have been some immersive portals glitch or something. Right, that gets us back on track, ladies and gentlemen. And once the next day starts, all end mobs are going to be realistic. So I'm just going to wait for that to happen for the next day. It, it can't be long. I've, I've been in the end for quite some time now. And there we go. It's now updated. And look at it. It looks completely different. Look at the cool head he's got and everything. The Endermen have stayed the same. I guess it's just Endermen with different colored eyes that, uh, that is all we're going to get. But yeah, pretty cool indeed. This is all we get to see of it. See you. Okay, what happened there? It just disappeared. <laughs> I don't think that's meant to happen. But it has been defeated. And I'm getting loads and loads of XP. Shame the immersive portals doesn't really work for this bit. But I guess it would be too complicated. Look at the end dragon egg. Very cool. Now, you can see where we're going. Although before I go there, I should probably gather up my fancy little water system. Because if I get too thirsty, I'll be in big trouble. Through this I go. And welcome to the outer island. And already I've found an end city. It doesn't look like a good one, but it's a good start. And now you'll be able to see why I got all that wood, because I can make slabs and bridge anywhere that I need to. And day 54 makes end cities more realistic, so you can see the end stone and the purple looks very cool, kind of 
Got that grainy effect. Okay, the shulkers, are they realistic though? Oh, look at you guys. You look really cool. Got that very cool stony effect. Now, can I can I get rid of them? There we go. I did. Did we get any? Oh, is that a shulker shell? I don't think it is, is it? Or is it? I did. Okay, look at it. it looks... It looks really weird, to be honest with you. No idea if it's meant to look like that or if it's a bit of a glitch. But anyway, let's head on up. And it's so echoey up there. I can hear the shulkers. Like, the reverb makes it really weird. Listen to it. The sound mod is a very, very cool one. That is a pretty nice looking shovel. I think I will swap it. And a chest plate with mending. Worth taking. And a nice sword looting too. It's excellent, especially when you think I can use it to get more shulker shells. And then I can use that to make a shulker box. This also helps a lot because it means I'll have way more inventory space. And with that, the search can continue. Now this looks like a much better end city. And better sleep revived adds bonuses to sleep in and you get debuffs if you don't sleep. So it's kind of like real life. You have to sleep to, uh, to to be fine. This has felt like one of the longest bridges ever. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Miles long has taken stacks and stacks of slabs. That's why I brought so many though. So let's now loot the entire place. And I'm actually going to begin with the shulkers. They look kind of angry, don't they? Look at those eyes. They don't look happy at all to see me. And in reality, it probably makes most sense to go for that first. Then looting the rest will be easy because I'll be able to fly. Here we are, being a very successful mission. I'd look at that, perfect amount to get to the top. Not that I would have run out, I have loads there. I've nearly run out of water. I think, is that is that all I have? Okay, that's not good. Oh my goodness, how cool do the elytra look? Can I, did I get another shell from that? I did. Look at them, in the item frame. Wow, I can't wait to put these on. And we've got a few nice things here. Beetroot seeds, maybe not included in that, but I love it. Wow, okay, let's, let's go ahead and give them a try. Give them a whirl. Oh, yes, look at me. I've got some very fancy elytra. And they, they kind of open up as you fly. Wow, look at that. Even the brain stands look cool. Look at the way that they change color as it does it. Wow, and it bubbles as well. It's animated. Okay, I love it. And now that I can fly, looting all this is very, very easy. Wow, what a chest plate. That is, that is, that's almost maxed out. It just needs another thorns too. If I could get a silk touch pickaxe, I could start gathering ender chests. I probably won't take that. And at this point, I think I've looted every bit that needs to be. I've got those extra two shulker shells so I can make a second shulker box. So I'm going home. My next project is to try and find an end gateway. Isn't it always the way? Before you find that end gateway, you always end up finding an end city first. And I suppose it's always worth grabbing a few extra bits of loot. Even if most of it isn't that great. And by the way, Day56 made it so that music discs are more realistic. Which isn't too groundbreaking and I haven't got any to, uh, to show you how they look. Kind of glad to find another end ship because these elytra are nearly broken. There we go. And I can fly home through that. Thank goodness I found one. Plus whilst I'm here, I'll get some more purified water. Home sweet home we go. Actually, let me get the egg as well. Where did it go? There it is. Always worth grabbing, isn't it? And now... I can go home. And now I'm back on this mountain. It's snowing. It looks completely different from the start. How very, very cool indeed. Anyway, I need to go back to that village. There goes my... Yeah, okay. Well, didn't expect that to happen. Should have been aware of it though. Yeah, my lights are broke. <laughs> and so I used up my last totem. I also can't use my bed because I blew it up to get the dragon. So my priority right now is <laughs> to get to that village. And then I can happily steal someone's bed. Day 58 has updated brown blocks, but that's not my priority. Right now, I'm going to grab that unbreaking three. Oh, the swift sneak as well. Nice. That is then going to be added to the elytra. Although, blow me down, I added it to the wrong pair. Only I would do something that stupid. Anyway, I... <laughs> how, how are you doing, buddy? I need to now get mending, a mending book, a villager that will sell me it. Making the lectern is pretty straightforward, but finding a villager that I haven't yet traded with, that's not so easy. In fact, I'm starting to question if such a villager even exists. Good news, it does. Let's go and uh, make a nice little hole. That can go there. And you, you're going to go and get a new job. And I've just realized something. Haven't I already got mending? I've, I, yeah, <laughs> My goodness, you know you do these hundred days, you kind of forget how much you do and that you don't actually need that. Because underneath this wood, there he is. 30 emeralds for mending. I'll be back to buy some. That llama has apparently lost the plot now. It has gone crazy. I, I should just go and put it out of its misery at this point, shouldn't I? Look here. That one's hanging from a lead. It's not been a good day for the wandering trader family. 12 emeralds here. Okie dokie, no problem. We can get more because we have absolutely loads and loads of jungle wood, which shall be given to you. And also you. From there, I can buy this, put it on the elytra, mine more wood, and use the XP that trading gives me to mend these elytra. Then I can upgrade my axe. And also get a better sword. And begin work getting a looting 2 or looting 3 book from this villager. At least I will tomorrow. Tonight, I want to go to sleep. And day 59 is great because finally, finally, chests have been upgraded. Now, they look more like a real chest. Just look at that. In my opinion, such a change was very, very necessary. Anyway, this is our life now, good sir. 
trying to get looting too. And finally, I've got it, looting three. Okay, I do I have a book on me? Um, yes, I do. So let's buy that. Even did one better than looting two. The reason I only wanted looting two was because I already have looting. I need to be on the ammo, but yeah, my sword already has looting two on it. So looting three would have been enough. Uh, looting two would have been enough, but looting three. Same job. And since it's day 62 now, three more things have got more realistic. That is terracotta, redstone stuff, and paintings. And now that I have looting three, I wouldn't mind getting the items so I can defeat the wither. But before that, I feel like I need to sort of... Wait, what is this? That's leather... Oh, but the leather... Wait, takes the form of the mob you take out. No way. Let me see this. Is this going to be grey leather? No, okay, there's just all the leather's just the same for all of them, never mind. Nothing but a coincidence. Anyway, if you're wondering why I'm taking- Oh, I forgot I have the, the mod on that makes things set fire to the stuff around it if it's on fire. Okay, that's kind of annoying, actually. All of a sudden, fire aspect isn't quite so good. But yeah, the reason I'm getting leather is because I need to get loads and loads more water. Because I'm sick of running out and I can't keep doing that. And if I'm in the nether, there's going to be no way for me to purify the water. So I need to be very well stocked. So leather's what I'm after. As a byproduct, I am going to be getting cooked steak, which is nice because extra food is always good. And the looting three is going to mean that I get the leather very, very fast. Day 63 adds the visuality mod, which I can't really show you now, but with stuff like when it rains, it'll look really good. Because you'll see the water droplets. It also looks nicer in the nether because there's more particle effects. A very subtle but satisfying mod. And because I have the fire thing on, yeah, I'm just burnt out. You know what? I'm just going to walk away. The donkeys drop leather? Why do I not know? Well, well, that one didn't anyway. Right. All of that is definitely enough. Now to craft the pouches, turn as many as possible to iron, which just so happens to be all of them, then to gold and diamond. Then I'll plunk down the shulker box, fill up every single one and fill this to the top. This might take a little bit of time and I've done it. Every single flask has successfully been filled as you can see. Day 64 has updated maps now. I obviously have a map, but I could buy one. All it requires is emeralds and a compass. Let's do that. Also, look at this. Is that a jukebox or something I saw? I, I, I don't know. I, I saw some cool item and now I've run out of redstone so I can't show it to you. Oh well, never mind. It's an ocean explorer map and I reckon going there could be quite good. I'm going to just do a few little things to my armor. So I'm going to put aqua affinity onto this helmet and I'm also going to put swift sneak on these leggings. And then let's go and find it. Oh, look at them. Yeah, the map does look more realistic. Okay, it looks very like it's an old map. You know, like a rustic treasure map. Right, we're, we're going to find this monument. And according to the map, it's somewhere in this direction. And Day65 made a pretty significant change. Look at this. The GUI now is uh, looking very, very cool, I have to say. And I don't think I'm far from this monument. According to the map, it is directly east. And things are loading in. I'm moving. Oh, look at the crosshair thing of, uh, of where my character is. All right, here we are at the monument. Let's do this then. Do I have any way to get air? Not really. I just have a... Uh, let me put... Let me, I don't even have a chest plate with me. Oh, well, that was smart, wasn't it, SP? Is this connected to a mine shot? It's insane. Right, I should just get in before anything bad happens. Everything's really weird and echoing here. There are guardians about. Uh, yeah, as you can see. I didn't even bring a boat. I feel like this is the most unprepared I could possibly be for such a challenge. That's why I'm making a few... I can't even mind the cramped table, but I'm making some doors. And there's the elder... Oh my goodness, your eyes. You look like you've got massive bags. You guys need to get some sleep, seriously. Literally look like you've been playing Minecraft for 24 hours. Okay, I should, um, I should definitely do something like this. Then I will do my best to defeat it in hardcore. So I have got to be oh, very, 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 very careful. Oh, just box yourself in, SP. All right. That was way, way, way too close for my comfort. Probably if I've got something as simple as a chest plate. I really did mess up the basics and it's made this entire fight way harder than it needs to be. I feel like I'm playing a different game. If this was in normal textures, I feel like I would have done it in no problem. But instead, I'm like, oh, this is crazy. Anyway, that is one successfully down. And I'm kind of dreading battling the other two. That's where all the gold is. Good to know. Dark Prismarine looks kind of epic as well, doesn't it, Danny? Oh, look at the way the particles move underwater. I love it. Anyway, I should probably focus on not drowning instead of... Um, well, what on earth is hitting me up there? <laughs> Instead of sightseeing, I was just say. Here it is. Guardian number two. Also defeated. Which means there's just one left to defeat. And apparently the old hit it and duck thing seems to work well when I'm not drowning anyway. Yeah, it just can't keep up with me when I keep doing that. There we go. Job done. Better make sure I don't drown. I've got about a minute left of mining fatigue. Not too bad. And whilst I'm here, I might as well sleep. At least I would if there wasn't stuff nearby. And I can't mind my bed up. <laughs> I've got to wait 27 seconds. There we go. Now I just want to find a place that I could use it. And something tells me this room will not be that place. But the gold's going to be great. That's all I need to be here for. I'm leaving. And considering I did not bring the best gear at all, that was a pretty successful mission. Interestingly, very little thirst was used up whilst I was underwater, which would make sense. You don't really dehydrate when you're swimming. And this new day has upgraded even more of the GUI. So now the recipe, the actual book itself looks cool. 
And uh, yeah, the, the recipe book area where your craft has too. Even parrots look very nice. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay, maybe your eyes look a little bit crazy. Can I have a look at your eyes, please? Not really letting it. There we go. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, <laughs> creepy, if anything. But we've made it home. Took quite a bit of traveling. I've been trying to conserve the firework rockets. I should probably keep this shulker box with me at all times. It might be uh, a little bit safer. And then I want to go and get netherite. Well, I will anyway once I've, I've gone to sleep since it's dark again. Still can't get over how cool it is to go through it. Was this upgraded last time I was here? I don't think so. I think Nether Brick has, has had a nice little upgrade too. And Nether Quartz Ore definitely fits in much better. Do I need anything to be mended? Don't think so. I think everything's looking good. Although, before I go digging down, it might be a good idea to put mending on my pickaxe. Because then, whilst I'm mining down there, I can mine up Nether Quartz Ore to get XP and repair it. Unfortunately, don't have enough emeralds, but I've got a lot of wood. And this guy will give me everything I need. This new day, by the way, upgraded rails, so we won't see it at the moment because we're not in a mineshaft area. Have I got enough for what I need? I'm one emerald short. Are you kidding me? You couldn't do me a nice little discount? Not to worry, though, because it, it literally takes me two seconds to get the wood that I'll need. There you go. Books have indeed had a nice little upgrade. Look at this. They look, uh, oh, they look good. I'm sure this guy will like them too. I really need to dye these. So this is, yeah, so that's for... I tell you what, that can be red. And then this shulker box is full of all the water. So what color would you make a shulker box full of water? Well, of course, you'd make it blue. It just makes perfect sense. Now I know which shulker box is which. I'll have one more drink, top up the flask, and the hunt for netherite can begin. I don't even know what it looks like in this texture pack, so uh, it'll be very interesting. Well, it would be if I could remember to actually put mending on the pickaxe, not just turn up with it. In fact, I've got enough. No, I haven't got enough iron. Two more pieces than I could have just done it myself, but it was, uh, it was not to be. There we go. That's much better. Before I go down, let's get this quartz so we actually get the XP and repair the pickaxe. And it'll certainly make the entire process much, much easier. And gravel still isn't realistic. What did poor gravel do to deserve this? Why, why, when will gravel ever get its special day? I'm sure at some point it will, but it must be feeling a little bit left out. Well, according to the person who helped me set all of this up, gravel was meant to be updated on day eight. So it looks like gravel is, is forever cursed in this video. Oh, well, look, that, that, that'll just have to do. And this must be what ancient debris looks like. Okay. Is it? Yes, it is. It doesn't take me that long to find it. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll take that uh, that kind of speed. Not my fastest speeds ever, but, but a decent one nonetheless. And with that, I'll just continue searching. Also thought I forgot to bring a chest plate, but I didn't. There's plenty in here. We'll go with that one. That'll protect me better from the lava than an elytra would. And that's my third piece. Beautiful. And also the fourth and fifth. Sadly, not the sixth. And the seventh one. Okay, good. Can we get one more here? We can. So that's eight. I miscounted. It was the sixth and seventh one there. Not an eighth one, so I can't yet make an extra piece of ancient debris. Or should I say an extra piece of netherite? I'm getting a little, uh, little mixed up here, aren't I? And finally, I've got the eighth piece. It has taken ages to get it. And I should probably update you in these last few days what has actually updated. So first of all, the big one is we now have Seasons. A mod where, yeah, Seasons are... Uh, are part of Minecraft, lasting 28 Minecraft days. Fireworks and fire charges have had an upgrade. Gravel, you see, still looks the same. Amethyst has, an, has had an upgrade. Transport, like minecarts, I should probably drink some water as well. Stuff like a bed, which is a big one. As you can see, the beds are now properly up upgraded. I don't want to uh, leave my bed behind though. And then finally, chains is the other one. I don't have any chains on me, so you'll, you'll just have to take my word for it. Also managed to get another two there, which is good. I'm kind of just going to try. I sometimes do the one strip mining. I think sometimes two wide helps. Maybe even three wide. No, we're not going to go that far. Oh, look, maybe it should. I'll tell you what. It's the law of averages. I've had ages where I didn't find any. Now I'm finding quite a lot in a short space of time. I'm so glad I got mending because it's just basically meant my pickaxe has lasted very easily. The 12th piece is huge and it's the 13th as well. Three more bits and I'll be able to have full netherite armor. Beacons are also now more realistic, so I would like to get one of them at some point to see how they look. But I'm not taking on the wither until all the netherite has been found. I'm hoping there's two here. Then I've got full netherite armor. Is it just one? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Oh no, it's not one. It's two. I'm just... It's, it's hard to see with all the particles everywhere. You've got to wait for them to kind of clear. And then you know what you've got. So I've got 16 and I want to keep going till I at the very least get 24. Because I'd like a netherite pickaxe. I'd like a netherite sword. If I get axe and shovel as well, that'd be great. But that's going to require... Whoa, what? Tourist destinations. Oh, nice. But yeah, I require 32 to upgrade every single tool. Which might take a while. I mean, I'm on a bit of a good streak at the moment. But <laughs> even that might be a little out of my reach. And I've got, I've got other things that I want to get on with. Is that... There's a few here. 22, 22... And there's 24. Okay. I... Probably have enough. Part of me wants to carry on. I, you know what? We're carrying on. We're carrying. I've come this far. I tell you what. I'll kind of mine my way back towards where my portal is, and hopefully find ancient debris on the way. And whilst I'm mining, I did find some. Okay, that's good. <laughs> We've also got new textures for the clock, compass, and respawn anchor. There's one more here. Will it be two? Okay. Right. Whether or not, I, well, if I don't find any when I get back to where my portal is, 
I'm going to carry on digging until I do find one. And I got one. Not that long after. Oh, I've got another one. You, you know what's going to happen if there's like three here? I'm going to end up wanting to search even more to get to 32. You, you just never know, dear. There's still a good 600 blocks left for me to get back to my portal. So I wouldn't rule it out the question for me to get to 32. Well, there you go. Isn't that just beautiful? All of the ancient debris needed has been obtained. Just can't stop finding it. All I want to do is go home. I don't want to keep discovering ancient debris. Although I suppose it's always a nice bonus to have. Oh, now I'm going to be one piece away, aren't I? From... Uh, I'm going to have to get it so I get to 36 pieces now. <laughs> Mining for ancient debris, you always want to leave on a multiple of four. I said that, I am back at my staircase, so I shouldn't really carry on. But I I'm going to. I I've got to. I'm sure I'll discover something that's fairly nearby. And I did. In fact, I found two. I, I didn't really want to find two, but... I don't know why I have this thing where I have to get a perfectly multiple four. I'm just going to leave. I think I already told you guys about the respawn anchor being upgraded. But now there's more. As TNT is also upgraded. I don't actually have the means to make TNT, unfortunately. And then I've also got the immersive weathering mod. And how that makes things more realistic is it affects things that are near stuff. So, for example, if you had dirt that is near fire it would get covered in soot. Or cobblestone becomes mossy when it's exposed to water because that's, that's what would happen in real life. Iron will rust when exposed to the elements. So all sorts of different things happen that's realistic. So I'm sure we'll see them as time goes on because, it, you know, it takes time to go on for us to see them. Hey, I can fill this up in here as well. I shouldn't be drinking water right now. I should be filling this up. So is this a blast furnace? I think so. I put three quarters of it in here. Just trying to be really efficient. And then the other quarter in this furnace. And in theory, they should all finish at the same time. I do still have loads of gold available as well. So I don't need that much. I'll just make as much as I require. Didn't realize I have gunpowder. You know what? I'm going to take five of these. And I'm going to take four sand to craft TNT. I just want to see what it looks like. Okay, this is TNT. And I want to see what an explosion looks like. Since with realistic physics... It typically looks quite amazing. Also, is this due to a season that we've got this kind of interesting effect? I need something to light it. But conveniently, there's flint and steel right there, which looks terrible, by the way. How, why have we still got unrealistic things in here? Anyway, light it up. And let's enjoy. Sorry, chicken. I didn't mean this. But look at that. Look at the way particles go over. I think it looks great. And the chicken survived. Oh, it's a win-win. Anyway, enough messing around. I need to use all this netherite scrap. To create netherite water pouches. Don't leather flasks. Yeah. No, we definitely wouldn't do that. I've, uh, I've done it once. So I'm not doing that again. Start with the nine ingots. Wait, is netherite not upgraded? No way. No way. I mean, I've got full netherite armor. Are you telling me that netherite is just normal? Well, this is an, this is unexpected. Is that the case for all tools? No, for the, the netherite tools are upgraded. But I haven't got realism on the armor. Oh, well, at least you can see my face when I uh, look at it without that stupid diamond helmet. And I'm using this spare ingot to make a netherite flask again. I need to go and retrieve the other one, actually, at some point. But let's just fill this one up, drink up, and refill it again. The 18 makes scaffolding more realistic. Yeah, really exciting. But I'm not worried about that. Also, look at this. This bucket is still normal as well. My goodness. We're, we need everything to get realistic at this rate. But yeah, I, my priority is to try and spawn the wither. But to do that, I think I'm gonna need a better fortress. And I'm not confident I have enough firework rockets to get to a new fortress. So I'll grab the remaining eight gunpowder. I wish I'd made that thing of TNT now. It's, um, it's gonna kind of be important for me. But yeah, I've got the gunpowder I need. I just have to try and track down more sugarcane. Would have really been smart for me to build a sugarcane farm here, wouldn't it? That would have saved a lot of trouble. That's all that I need. More firework rockets. The firework rockets, they look, um, Look like dynamite, don't they? I guess that's probably what a real firework looks like. Anyway, I've got everything that's going to be needed to, to do this. And so I'll start searching for a better fortress because no mobs really seem to spawn here. Which is mainly due to the fact that it's in a nether waste pile. Unfortunately, this one is also not in the greatest of places. So there's a few mobs I can get. So you just never... Well, I didn't just get it first time, Dad. No way. I know this game's too easy or looting three is, is, is way too powerful. And there's quite a few extra mobs. I would expect to get anything more at this fortress, so I think I'll be searching for another place. And I just remember that my sword has Smite 5 on it, so I can literally one-tap them for the Witherheads, which which does make life a little bit easier. And now this is more like it. This is the kind of fortress I need. Okay, maybe there's just too many mobs there. But I reckon it'll mean I can get everything I need very, very fast. Well, I could if there wasn't a million blades everywhere. You know what? I've got an idea. Since fire resistance is low, but hey, I took the trouble of finding a Notch Apple. Why don't I just crack that open when the time is right? And the time is right now because I'm on fire. There we go. Alrighty, now you guys are useless against me. Managed to get the second one. And the third. Seriously, in this biome, it's so, so fast. Just want to collect up four of these. And I can quickly fly my way back home. I've made it back to my portal. You'll notice it's sadly no longer an immersive one. Uh, allow me to explain. Couldn't really show you this in the nether, but day 81 added realistic water physics. Which also applies to the oceans. This is not an ocean, which is why it's not here. But if I go ahead and place down water... Okay, well, it doesn't apply to this either, really. I, I, I think it applies to something else. It's mainly in the ocean that it's, uh, it, it'll be noticed. And we are on day 82, so the other thing, which you may or may not notice, 
is we've got dynamic lights now. This will probably be best seen in the dark, which is which is where it's going now, which is good. It'll also be better noticed if I turn my brightness down loads. Okay, we're in, we're in moody territory now. Yeah, can you see how things light up as I walk around? So that's dynamic lights for you. Um, I, I don't like this darkness though, so I'm, I'm turning the brightness back up. I actually only make the game so bright for you guys because it's really hard to watch somebody who's playing a dark game. So, you know, so it's more enjoyable for you and you can see what's going on. I always brighten it up more than, uh, than it needs to be. Anyway, realistic oceans. You can't really see it at the moment with this water. Let's, let's just kind of sail though. If, if you'll see it, if I'm in a boat and once I go a bit further out to sea, that there's waves. Yeah, look at that, you see? We've, we've got we've got more realistic waves and stuff before the hundred days are up There will be shaders and then you'll be able to see the water so much better It'll be completely different But until that point you can you can kind of see me riding the waves Day 83 makes banners more realistic not that I'm too bothered about that My priority right now is to grab bow grab arrows I actually want a, a few more arrows than what I grabbed seven more That's not gonna cut it. Thankfully this Fletcher will give me everything that I need then I'll eat up drink up and spawn in the wither ready for a battle. Okay, well, the weather doesn't look very realistic, does it? Alrighty, well, <laughs> didn't know what to expect there. Um, I'm gonna put my chest plate on. It, I think it'll make it easier for me to take on because it's not that realistic. Where's my bow? Is it my first slot? I'm just blind. Okay, we've got a bow. No need to panic, although I, I have already been withered, which maybe is a cause for panic. Let's just get in with these arrows on the power two bow. I can already feel my health going down. I'd better, <laughs> better eat up. This is not gonna be plain sailing. It's only a, because it's only power two rather than like a good power five one. It will take a, quite a lot of arrows. And since I'm getting peppered with shots, that's also not helping. I reckon I should do the old shoot an arrow and move kind of thing. It's um, it's a little bit safer, isn't it? All right, have we got the health? Oh, now we've got smite. Now it doesn't stand a chance that we're on phase two. But also I'm looking like I don't stand a chance. I've got to remember I don't have a totem, so I can't do anything stupid. That was close. Gonna have to try regen, but the problem is the withers regen in two. Oh man, this is really hard work. This is... <laughs> This is not easy at all. Just gotta keep going though. I'm slowly but surely getting higher and higher health, but it's taking so long. I could do with a golden apple right about now. And I've let the wither get above half health. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's easier when it's there. Oh, are you stuck in the tree? Do I have time to pull out my secret weapon? It seems to be going quiet. It's Is it stuck? Quick, SP. Go in there. That's it. Pull out a notch apple. And now, I think I'm, I think I'm in the, the driving seat here. I managed to apprehend it with a tree. You wouldn't have thought it possible. That's it. Come on in now. You don't stand a chance against me with a smite five and a notch apple. I am victorious. And I've got the nether star. This didn't blow up this time, which is good. Kind of ruined the area, but hey, I'm not coming back here anytime soon, so it, it should be fine. And I think all that battling, it, it calls for a drink. And now to craft a beacon, I need five glass, which means grabbing five sand. I'm putting them in a... Fa Whoa, I've already got glass. Well, that's a turn up. I forgot about that. I had to trade it early, didn't I? So now I'll just take my three obsidian. I've got everything I need. Oh, that's so satisfying. That means we make a big... Oh, look at that beacon as well. The realism in it. Let's just see it. Wow, the nether star looks insane in the middle. At least this one looks like it's made from another star. The other, other ones never do. Now, I don't have an insane amount of blocks, but I've got loads of gold, so I can make a, a one-tier beacon, which doesn't really make sense. You know what I mean? A, a tier one beacon, that's what I meant. I don't know why I was placing them as if I was going to do a massive one. That's the nine down that I was going to do. Let me mine the beacon, then put it down and activate it. Well, that's excellent work. We've defeated the wither. We've got a beacon. The water buckets have also upgraded. I didn't even notice that. I think that happened when the oceans got fancy as well. I think that's when it all came together. And I'm more or less out of food. I don't think. Maybe I have some of this. Moment. No, okay. So that's got to be my next thing. Get out there and get some food. And then I want to build a house. I'm kind of sick of just sleeping outside every night. And, and you know, this village isn't looking the greatest. So I'd like to have my own house just somewhere over there with that shit. 84 has improved cobwebs. But has it also changed the area? Is it like the seas has changed? I think so, you know. Like the grass is a different color. Oh, it's a bit laggy now. But yeah, the grass is a different shade of green. The seasons are really, really cool because it's it never looks the same around you. Anyway, as I was saying, I need food. So pigs are on. The what did it just drop? Tallow? I don't even know what a tallow is. Well, we, we got it. Can we eat it? That should always be the first reaction, shouldn't it? Is it edible? Uh, no. Right, well, I don't know what it's for then. Apparently in real life, tallow is a food ingredient, but can also be used to make things like soap, candles, that kind of thing. So, yeah, that, that explains that. I mean, will I eat it? I'll, I'll at least give it a go when I get hungry, because I'm sure there'll be plenty more pigs to find. And what? Oh, look at the... 
What? I didn't touch that. That wasn't me. That, an icicle falling off the trees. It must be getting cold over. It must be winter. It's amazing. Oh, okay, there's a baby pig. You are the most ugly baby pig I've ever seen. Sorry, I, I don't want to be horrible, but you are. Don't worry, cows. I'm no longer on a beef diet. No, I'm strictly on pork now, I've decided. Also, now that I've said I'm not eating cows, all I've done is find nothing but cows. There we go, pigs. Just what the doctor ordered. All right, tell Edible? No, it's not edible. It must be some some ingredient used, but I'm, I'm not going to keep it. That should be enough. Also, this day's added 3D swords, which, to be honest, they look kind of maybe 3D compared to what they were, but not that much. So, yeah, there you go. And now that I have plenty of food, the house building project can be... Did I set this on fire by the... Oh, no, it was lava. Like, I'm innocent on this case. Usually, I set the forest on fire because of my fire aspect sword nowadays, so I, I get a little worried. But, yeah, now I'm back. I can begin the new operation. Now, the main material I'm going to use for my house is going to be white concrete. Could use quartz. I could use white wool, but I feel like white concrete is going to be the easiest thing for me to get a loss of. But there is an issue. To get all the concrete, I'm going to need gravel. And this shovel when I try to get gravel, drops flint every single time, as you can see. That is because it is Fortune 3. So before I can make any progress whatsoever, I need to use my final diamond to make a new shovel. And I haven't got 30 levels, so I'm not going to be able to get the perfect one, but if it has, like, efficiency 3... See, that's not the perfect one. Yes, I do have a grindstone, but it's not ideal that I keep using that because the, what I can get is going to get worse and worse. I just need something that can insta-mine, all right? Can efficiency 2 do that? I feel like not, but we're going to see anyway. Efficiency, let, let's test it out. And the answer is... No. No, it can't. Day 86 makes mycelium more realistic. And I've just realised it was night time and I need more firework rockets, so I shouldn't have really slept. But anyway, not to worry. I'm going to go to the nether and mine up quartz to get more levels. Although due to the fact that I have mending on my armour and my pickaxe, I'm going to have to first get them fully prepared. And that is level 30, finally. Time to wonder if I should build it out of quartz, because I've, I've got quite a lot of blocks, but probably... Oh, I don't want to do that, but... Yeah, probably not enough for the project still. I also just went to try and fly with the pirate rocket and then realised I, I don't have any left. And whilst I'm here, I might as well... Oh, wait, oh, they go down in one. I was just going to say, I might as well grab some of the warped blocks, because... I'm going to need them for the build as well, and this is going to be very fast today. Got two stacks quite quickly, which is more than enough. Don't need those warp warp blocks. I really hope I get something good on this shovel, otherwise I am going to be in a bit of trouble. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, thank you. I, no, okay, don't break it again, because um, I, I I have no way to get back if it's broken, because I have no flint and steel, all right? Just let me go. I got lucky in that situation, didn't I? Also, day 88, paper. As you can see, now way more realistic. Just need some gunpowder to go with it. Did I really grindstone the wrong shovel as well? My Fortune 3 one? No, that wasn't very smart of me, was it? Anyway, it's not too worrying because it's netherite, so it's good. Let's have a little look. Oh, yes. That's all we needed. I'm making a new chest for the resources for this build. And I'm going to go out in search of a place that has plenty of sand, plenty of gravel, that isn't underwater. I haven't yet found that place, but it is now starting to go dark, which is good, because I'm going to go after some creepers. And then I'll be able to fly again instead of having to walk like a peasant. Creeper number one spotted. And having knockback really helps in these situations. Okay, I've got the first gunpowder. Got another creeper. This is definitely going to plan. I can already make 21 more firework rockets and I've got more paper. Well, I will have more paper. There we go. So I will keep making use of the looting three tonight. I think that'll be enough. Yeah, 50, uh, well, 50, yeah, 15 gunpowder, 12 paper. I've got 57 rockets. That should set me up nicely. I'm going to get some sleep. And this looks like a prime location for collecting the sand. Day 89 has made cauldrons more realistic. Again, we probably won't see those right at this very moment. I've ended up getting plenty more sand than I actually needed. i got like 11 stacks on the needed nine. So I'll get these back and go out in search of gravel. Probably the best place for that is going to be the nether. If I just head down to where my strip mine was, I'll find lots of it. Oh, and lava. <laughs> but yeah, I'll find lots of it. No problem. That's every bit of gravel that I need. All nine stacks. And day night adds the item physics mod, which kind of makes items look and they just kind of roll as I chuck them down, which I think looks pretty cool. You know, you just kind of go like that and... You can see them all doing different things. Um, it, it does a few other minor things as well, but that's, I don't know. I thought that was the coolest of the lot. Now, what's the final missing thing to make all my concrete? Bone blocks, because I need loads of dye, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Firstly, I want to get some spruce wood, because I think roof, a bit of spruce in there, along with the warped wood, is, is going to look fantastic. The only place I can think of that I definitely know there's spruce trees is back at spawn, because that's, that's what I used at the start, so... That's kind of the direction I'm heading. There you go. This is just where I want to be. And I can get all of the wood that I need so, so, so fast. Also, is it just me? Does the snow kind of not look that realistic? It looks a little crazy. It's like it's circular. I can't even jump up it. Is it powdered snow? Oh, you can kind of... I don't know. It's weird snow anyway. That's what I know. But it's... um, Yeah, it looks very... uh, Very different indeed. It's weird now that when I mine a tree... Some of the leaves kind of fall, but they're, they're not really there. You can walk through them. I don't, I, I don't get it. Anyway, I've got all the wood I need. And one of the final things I want quite a bit of is diorite. It's, it's never easy to find when you want it, is it? Is, is this it here, actually? I think it is, but I don't want to get that. Instead, collecting it from here 
is definitely the easiest. That's more than enough diorite. Yesterday it was bells that got updated, today it's bone blocks, which is something that I need to track down because I need the bone meal from them. Here we go. The bone blocks look very similar to how they normally look, don't they? Two gas attacking me, are you kidding me? Bet that you still can't get me, can you? Look at that, you both missed. They're absolutely rubbish, I'm too- Okay, I got hit there, never mind. <laughs> now they're going at me both like, oh no, it's, it's another guy, it's not even the gas that hit me, they keep missing me. Now that I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need, I'll get busy crafting everything. Took a little longer than I expected, but I have now got every single resource that I need. Also added the visual enchantments mod, which gives you like a cool little thing to show what you've uh, what you've got. I mean, the right shovel though looks very weird, doesn't it? No. <laughs> but it kind of, yeah, uh, shows you what's on it with a, with a cool little representation. Bunge is now realistic, leads are name tags and something massive, flint and steel. Where is it? Where is that flint and steel? It, I can't even, there it is. Is, it looks way, way better now. So first things first, I need a flat area, and to achieve that, I'm getting rid of this uh, this little mound. I'll be honest, this this little mound is a bit bigger than I first realised. Yeah, it's, it's becoming a bigger job than I wanted. I might just terraform it a little bit on this side because completely getting rid of the entire thing is, is looking to be just a, too much of an ask. And I'm sure I'll have enough room here. Actually, I'm not that sure. Which means I'm removing yet another layer of dirt. Look at how much time to build this house, am I? I'm, I'm running out of dates. That should be good enough. Like I say, I'll, I'll remove all the stone later. It looks a, a little bit out of place now, but I've got a good flat area. I can remove some grass. And so now I can begin the process of building. This is a general outline of the front. I'm not sure I'll get time for much more than the front, really. And I'm just going to build it up another layer or two like this. And then up here, it's a mix of concrete and these stairs. Next, I'll build these walls up higher and higher. And then I can have some nice little balcony bits up here at the top. It's now day 99 and I've, I've still got quite a bit to do. And if you're wondering what's been added, we've got snow will look a lot better. There's just not any around here to, to show you. With the roses also have a texture and so do totems. Again, I, I don't have any totems to show you, which is a bit of a shame. I think I'll just concentrate on getting this house done before the end of the video. The sun is going down, it's getting dark, but I'm onto the roof now. I've run out of wood. Are you kidding me? I think I have more in the chest. And I don't think I'm going to need to work through the night. I think I can get it done in day 100. You can see how it looks now. I'm going to go to sleep and you'll see how amazing it looks when I wake up. Because for day 100, the shaders are on. We've got that nice warm dawn feeling at the moment as the sun rises. I'm just going to get busy continuing this. Did I even grab the stairs? I did remember to get them. That's good. Let's continue placing these. And get at the very least the front of this build complete. Yeah, look at if I'm stood down there. Just not good if I look at it from behind. And that is this tower done. That tower's complete as well. I've just got the roof in the middle and I'll be done. And the sun, I think I've got time guys. I think I have time for this. And it is done. And I think it looks pretty good. The beacon beam looks amazing. I think I should move the beacon behind. I also made this cool little entrance way. As you can see, you go in here. And then yeah, the, there was plans for more, but I kind of couldn't make it so <laughs> i think i'll put the beacon here oh man it is uh, it's definitely going dark i kind of want to show it in the full light as well though i'm gonna put that there all right the beacon beam will go up yeah it's going dark i you didn't really get to see the front of it though properly in the light because it's kind of just been this is the dark side that we're on here the sun's been on the other side when it was finished so i'm gonna i'm gonna go to sleep minecraft's not gonna get any more realistic by the way at least i will go to sleep when uh, when it's dark enough and then as the sun rises it's gonna come into view. Look at it. I think it's I think it's very nice. I'm very impressed with this build. It's just yeah, it's just a shame. <laughs> I couldn't build the whole thing, but oh, we're lagging a bit. But as as a thing, I think it's good. Don't want to go any further over time because this video is long enough. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.